Hey boys, welcome back to Wizard Tank. It's your boy Alton. Uh, don't pay attention to that guy. Uh, <laughs> I don't even have the window up. I don't know what he did, but it was probably probably offensive. Uh, so last week, if you miss it out, uh, we got a brewery, and basically that's the only thing that happened. <laughs> That's the only thing that matters. <laughs> so we got a dragon, uh, Grimnix, he, he's gone. He's like a slave now to uh, the, the tree lady. Um, your boy, he's a king. Uh, Eric is uh, living lofty life. Um, we haven't seen uh, uh, Abby in like a month or something. He's off, uh, he joined a convent or something like that. Um, I think I, it's part of an I app. Takes it. You know. I've got a fancy new hat. Oh, yeah, and a fancy new hat. Yeah. It's beautiful. A highly uh, proven hat. I planted hat. the tree. No, I that doesn't matter. Tree. That's all it's I know. I'm still an angel. <laughs> <laughs> My Boy, mom's enslaved. He put his, <laughs> his mom's been slaved. So he's going to go have to go kill all the uh, sand people and then go to the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> what else could you do? He's gonna come murder the younglings. I saw. That's it. All right. Uh, so game over. Yeah, yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you would like more details, please go back and watch the previous episodes, all available on Twitch and Facebook. Right, Twitch TV slash yeah. Wizard Tank Games. 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 Yep. So all right. If you found that. Um, Twitch TV slash yeah. So last session was a lot of world building, a lot of decision making with the kingdom, setting up some of the kind of ongoing mechanisms that are going to be in place, including some businesses and things like that. A lot of fun if you're into that sort of thing. If not, <laughs> skip. If you enjoy fun, skip. Uh, what? I'll go quiet. Truth. I can hum if you nope. no, no, I'm almost. Nope. We're almost there. We're, we're good. We're almost there. <laughs> Mike over here dropping the dope beats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sick boy. <laughs> so aside aside from those things, um, oh sorry. Oh goodness, I need to go crop out. I've got your your name full blown. On. Who's who's that? I want to fight someone. So I fight somebody. Can you, you said you were gonna get the screen real quick. Am I Eric? Yes. Oh, it's okay. Uh, and you're changing to a cleric. Talk in the chat. Let me know if you like my uh, address. <laughs> social. Okay. Sorry about that. We're back. That's cool. Um, <laughs> All right. So the kingdom has been established. Yeah. You have a council. Did you come up with those those names by any chance? Oh no. Go ahead. I'll do that. Okay. So at least at least the population of it, of which you know we can kind of establish that. But the what had been happening was that the the dwarven council that had been sent to you. By the king of the Starspire Mountains, the king of the Starspire Dwarves, 
they've been working feverishly for several months now to try to get your name established with all the right circles. So it was pretty quick. Is it? Quick, quick dealings with the dwarves. They establish you and your your rightful claim to the throne pretty quickly. A little bit more complicated with some of the other nuances. Yeah. Other uh, kingdoms, kingdoms, but you have recently received the notice that Tithir has acknowledged your official claim to the throne. Um, it's a boy. Yeah, it's a freaking beast. As well as Eamon, would, since you are so far north, Eamon as well has gotten back. To I you. would like to reply. Okay. One. Uh, thank you, Lena. But also a goodie bag. Okay. <laughs> That's reasonable. Goodie bag. Fat and salt. People like those lotions, things. creams. I was thinking fruit basket, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> summer sausage i'm thinking i'm thinking yeah i'm thinking so some of our liquor some of our okay our, yeah, our, yeah, yeah. i got a few a couple different tasting bottles a few um yeah do some maybe some cheeses some, some like, some like a fake masks cured, cured meats concubines what are you talking about yeah, you know that that's a question I asked myself several times. Um, what are you talking about? That's the kind of stuff I want to say. That kind of you know, maybe some sweets. You know, but just that's that's what I was saying. Okay. Yep. I'm not trying to gain any from it. I'm just like I'm just trying to now you know from your experience that, that is a typical typical response. Yeah. You know, you share you share a little bit of what it is that kind of makes your kingdom special. Although at this point, you really haven't really established anything. So I want a beer though. You, you, beer, first, first sort of business. Beer. Well, I feel like if it's a dwarf kingdom, kingdom like, like, it makes time. sense that it's something you've got to do. It, it, it checks out. Yeah, yeah. Logically yeah. speaking, yes. it does check out. That's well, what I'll do. I might even do like something I'll specifically do forged, like a coin, like a minted coin. Okay, yeah, you establish your own, your. Uh, your stamp, I guess, really, your standard yeah. on coins and such. Yeah. Okay, and a lot of that, you know, we're not gonna play through every single little detail. Right. A lot of that stuff is happening, you know, you're establishing like, what is your standard? What does your banner look like? You know, what is your mint on your yep. coins? Different things like that. You guys are establishing yourselves. As our coins are called Ericsson's. Ericsson's? What color are the curtains in the castle and all that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Carmack has like lost his mind on some people. Like, this is chartreuse. What are you doing? Disintegrate. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're you're working out all of those details, and um, we'll we'll just leave that to you as yeah. as you decide that you want to do these things. But you you found yourself slightly more busy than you had even originally anticipated. Lots of people are constantly coming up to you, trying to, you know, settle disputes. Like, you're just inundated with the fact that people are now coming to you seeking answers for questions that, like, you didn't really think about. Like, when, when they are trying to reestablish the mines, which is something that you had intended, yes. yep. constantly coming up to you, like, uh, you, we've got some concerns about some health and safety. We've, we need some more supplies, all these different things, as well as the, you know, the actual citizens placement. You've had to establish sort of a like a realty within the kingdom because people are paying you for their space. their space essentially, and so they're you know right. buying homes from the kingdom and like all these things like essentially a taxation setup, set up, but yep. in a way that like Stood. you try to even that all out. And so there's a lot of business that's been going on back and forth. Which is um, why my council. Yes, they they're 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 very busy as well. They're trying to like run that go between. Yeah, I've got one people. already. Games over two. Um, with that, we're gonna jump over to the island, the far off island of Mastika, where Absalom has been working with. After after your stint in the library at Candlekeep, you made your way over to Mastika, following a lead. And you met up with uh, Captain Rorick. Rorick. Captain Rorick, 
as you call them, although nobody calls him captain here anymore. Um, but you met up with Rourke, who has, through some discussions, you find out has he, on the surface, he's a tradesman. He works different, um, like venturing parties and things into the jungles, which you find the place to be incredibly wild. Um, the even just the foliage itself is sometimes lethal and the, very vibrant in colors. It is this is a very tropical setting, so it rains hard and often, especially since you in the rainy season. So you you see just like these sudden downpours of rain that just like flood the areas, and then up comes the sun and dries it out, and it, it's just crazy the the cycle that goes on here. the The life itself is a little bit more wild and untamed, and so. Captain Rourke has been running these adventurers and librarians. Did we lose something? It died. It shouldn't have. Is it plugged in? I mean, I need to be plugged in. It's plugged in. It is. It was on. The cable may suck. You may have to try another cable. Um, Here's one. I'll leave it to you. So you've been you find out that he's been kind of running these missions he'll run like you know uh rich travelers he'll take into expeditions into the jungles um uh archaeologists people writing papers and junk like this he takes them into some of the ruins and temples and things like that that are just scattered throughout this he's a trail guide on the surface you find out that he has in secret been trying to i guess in a way we, we'd said that he was basically running what is the equivalent of the underground railroad that there are lots of slave traders in mastica that basically the this is a giant island so basically like think of australia so technically like a continent but it's a like a very small continent and it's much more like a giant island and there are a few like outlying islands as well but for the most part it's run by corporations, essentially. They trade in goods that are on the up and up, you know, shipping supplies and things like that here and there. It's kind of like an in-between from the civilized world of the East and the civilized world of the West. And so it is a trade route in a lot of ways, but it's basically run by these corporations. They also do a lot of shady dealings underneath. And he's been subtly trying to find ways to kind of break the back of that system because it's very hard on the people of Mastica. Um, and so he's been kind of working on that and, and through some discussions and, and everything, he has <clears throat> relayed to you that there is a certain tavern by the eastern coast of Mastica that is kind of has one of those bad reputations for being a den of pirates. As such, it's probably the best place to find the ship that you are looking for, which would be a flying pirate ship. Oh, do I, did he know the name of the ship? Do you know the name of the ship? Did he savvy? Or... Um, the one that he had heard of that sometimes frequents this area is called the Libertas. Okay. Um, Captain by a man named Lazuli, okay. and uh, he doesn't really know anything about it other than Lazuli is a bit showy, and so he usually makes okay. a pretty big show of flying off into the sunset as opposed to sailing. Oh, okay. uh, and that, that's really it. He's like, I know, of, you know, I know of that, and so maybe go if you're going to find them, that's where they would be, or maybe somebody that knows something. And so I believe when we left off, you were heading that way yeah. in a bit of a downpour. Oh, okay. Um, and it's, although it's technically like mid afternoon, the sun should be shining, it, the dark clouds overhead make it a pretty dark and dreary place. And you've kind of adapted some of the clothing. So you have this big, kind of heavier canvas, uh, like coated in oils and things to make it a bit of a raincoat. You, so oh, you've okay. got this big hooded, cloak that's a bit of a raincoat as you make your way down to this this tavern okay um okay. yeah i'll go ahead and go in do i know for sure if he's there right now? um at this point there are several dozen ships maybe almost 
close to 100, maybe it's at a glance, you're not exactly sure, but maybe 100 ships that kind of line this coastal dock, which stretches on and on for a couple of miles. You can see just ships dotting the area, a few that are out in the harbor area. Do I see Libertas there? You're not sure. At a glance, you're not exactly sure what you're looking for. Okay. You've never really seen a flying ship of any kind, but um, you make like your way to this. Uh, not that you see. It's okay. like, but again, you know, it's a, it's about a mile spread out okay. where all the ships are kind of littered, and you do make your way into the Sirens Call, this gigantic tavern. It is maybe the equivalent of like a full city block in length and it's it's only one floor but it is enormous and it, you can tell that it looks very weathered very very kind of rough you can see a few spots where it looks like maybe there have been full-blown holes in the walls that have been patched up with boards and things to that effect um and you see there you can hear a big crowd inside you can see lots of people moving kind of in and out between here and the docks. The, the ground itself is muddy as it slopes down into the sandy beach. Uh, and so it's, there's like, uh, the dock itself has kind of been built up into a pathway. So just these wooden slats that kind of create a walkway from the dock proper, I guess, to this area. What would you like to do? Um, <clears throat> one, uh, one, thing, um, one thing I wanted to do is um, I was doing research on the crystals specifically. I wanted to try to draw a picture of one and like, or maybe if I could have taken one of the pages from one of the books at the library, that I probably could have, but. Uh, make a slight of hand check. Okay. <laughs> Just hit a net 20 and over. Okay. Um, 22. A 22? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll say with the 22, you are able to sneak out a single page from this book. Yeah, for, with my intent of bringing it back one day. You know, that's kind of absolute intent. So. It doesn't matter what you need to do. It's yours now. Yeah. I don't know if, like, mentally it should be Ooh. one of those things. So. It's like, it's like, get punished. That's on you, man. Okay. So I'm going to go in <laughs> and uh, for, first person that works there, I see. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be like, all right, where's the last line? Looks around a little bit. Make a persuasion check. Oh, or intimidation check. You intimidation. choose. Yeah. 17. Ooh, 17. Looks at bad. you. Kind of scowling a bit. And goes, who's asking? A friend. A friend who wears a mask? Yeah. I've been looking for work. I haven't seen him. Goes about his business. So I'm gonna um, inside that. Yeah, yeah, I will do an inside check. <laughs> See if his eyes kind of like darted towards him or not. Scroll down. Um, Ten. Ten beats my one. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, as you're looking at him, he goes, "I haven't seen him." And walks off. Um, he has. But did he give any Shiny. pain away? Mm -hmm. Oh, he did. Look he's seen him, and he kind of glances off to the left. Okay. So, right. And then I, and then I just walk that way. <laughs> Towards the left, like where yeah. he was looking. Yeah. Again, super crowded in here. People yeah. like, uh, you know, just like hustling and bustling. Lots of, you can immediately tell, like you're, that spidey sense is like full blown on edge. You have a lot of Peter King. untrustworthy <laughs> fellows <laughs> in this place. Um, you can see people um, a bit pass out. You see, like, just like this rut. These are people just openly fighting. They're like, they just kind of people just pull back some tables and make space for them. And they're just like decking each other. And some people are drinking, throwing in on it. A lot of people are just minding their own business. You know, this isn't my problem, sort of thing. Uh, but you kind of glance towards the general direction, make an investigation check for me. Uh, would my goggles help? The, no, no, because it's only within like a certain. Yeah, it's like a foot. Uh, twenty-one. No bad. With the twenty-one, as you're kind of glancing about, looking through the crowd, you see this guy, kind of a uh, tan skin, uh, very fine-looking clothes. He's got a really bright blue hat on, with a big blue feather and a uh, a blue-colored parrot 
on his shoulder and he's looking around and he's kind of gesturing. He's t- you can tell he's telling some sort of like very animated story. And he like pulls a sword out. He's like, ah, and he's telling this story. And you can see uh, next to him, you see uh, several people. Where's my notebook? You immediately clock a few of them as they're pretty recognizable, even in this crowd. You can see um, an uh, Aarakocra. Oh. It decked out in full like plate armor. Um, That's the bird people, right? Yeah. yeah, you see like the wings kind of folded up behind them. Uh, again, armored up through the wings, and a giant like great sword kind of peering out over the sh- over the armor. Um, you see a Goliath barbarian, um, male battle like a big giant war axe, kind of sitting like uh, leaning like blade down on the table, like and just like mug after mug chugging down on this just and you can tell that the way that they are sitting oh and then you you see also like a a way more reserved female half elf that looks to be in um some sort of a a finely crafted robe of like dark dark blue with silver tread and threading that kind of go and you can see different symbols and things that are kind of sewn into the robe itself and a a staff that is kind of twisted a bit and gnarled up to almost like a shepherd's crook and you can see that she's far more reserved and she's kind of clocking the room as the other two are kind of they look to be watching guard uh although the goliath less so he's more reactionary he's fine with it um but you can kind of see them and this person is in the general direction that you that that the guy kind of glanced towards and in fact, as you're kind of looking this way, you see that guy kind of carving a roundabout pathway through the crowd towards this person. Okay. And who, who is it coming towards him? The guy that you talk to, the, the worker, uh, the bartender. Yeah, so I'm going to get kind of close, closer, um, and kind of just stand there and like lean up against something and kind of wait for, wait for him to finish his story, listen to what he has to say type of thing. So it's kind of, and then I'll wait till he's done and then... As, if, they, if they turn their heads and look at me and then, you know. Yeah, and you see, as he's kind of telling the story, this bartender comes up and whispers something in his ear and he looks over towards you and makes eye contact and then kind of breaks it off, finishes his story and sits back down to his table and begins to eat and drink again. You see the, you see at this, you can see that the other three clock you, two of which pretty sneakily, like the, uh, the Aarakocra, Aarakocra is um, like very, very subtle about it. The half elf female, very subtle about it. The male Goliath, not at all. Like scoots and scrapes his chair back. <laughs> and then rests his hand on his great ax. I'm gonna approach. And you, as you get up close enough, you like, again, almost like that Sherlock Holmes in the, the uh, Robert Downey Jr. movie, you see like several things happen at once. You see the woman's hand slide underneath the table. You see the Goliath look like he pulls maybe a knife or something. You see just in the way that he moves his shoulder, he's pulled some sort of small blade um, from a sheath. And then the, the Aarakocra, not like not being subtle at all, just pulls the great sword down and kind of rests it tip of the blade down at the ground. You did, bro. And the, uh, and then the guy's like, easy, friends, easy. Please have a seat. Thank you. And I actually, I, I'm going to, um, no, 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 I'm not going to do that. I'll keep it, keep it hidden. But um, be like, are you Lazuli? I am. And who's this king? My name's Absalom. Uh, I was- Absalom. And he looks over towards the, towards the, uh, the woman for a moment. I was told to look for you from a friend. He said you might know something about this. And I pull out one of the pages, that page of the crystal and like, looking for something similar to this. Hmm. May I? Of course. It's a strange mess that you have there, Absalom. Yeah, when I was a kid, my mom always said I was real ugly. So I was real one. That is unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, well. I have seen crystals like this before in my day. What is it that uh, you seek here? Um, Well, it's hard to explain. Then perhaps I should tell you a story. Go for it. I love the story. 
when I was a younger man, when I was in a little bit of trouble, that's a different story, longer and maybe for another time. I sought a woman, a witch of the well. She lived not far from me, so I sought her out. It was told to me that she could grant wishes, and I had very little to lose, much to gain. So I sought her, and I made a deal that I would be able to fly away from those who hunted me. And she granted me this wish in the form of the liver's house. I assume that's why you sought me, yes? Can I do an inside check on the story? Sure. Sounds like you're talking about the lady of the tree. 21? Yeah. Seems to be telling the truth. No, at the time I tried to trick her a little bit, not gonna lie, but I was unsuccessful. So for the two things I was given, she took two things or requested two, depending on how you think of it. The first was that I could never again return. I thought it meant to the well, but she got me. I can never again set foot in my homeland. The other thing was she said at some point in the future, a man with no face would come to me and ask a favor, and then I must grant it. What? Hmm. You seem to be a man with no face. And I think I know the lady you're talking of. Do you? Yeah. Have you been to the South? Uh, she was at a different place, I believe, at the time, but I made a similar deal. Interesting. My deal was revenge. Uh, in order to get revenge, I need one of these crystals. Go track down the person I'm looking for. Interesting. <clears throat> Those crystals, I've only seen them in one place, and that is in the sky castles of cloud giants. Are you familiar with this? I've heard stories from a friend. They probably do not do them justice. These castles that fly in the clouds are majestic. I know of several dozen, maybe a hundred or two, that uh, make their home above the clouds, but uh, most of them are occupied, you know? Could you get me close? Sure, sure. They're usually protected by magics, but uh, I've been having dreams lately. What kind of dreams? Well, dreams of you, I think. Of the faceless man flying on the back of a blue bird towards a dark castle. Huh. I knew myself to be the bird. Lazuli is the name of a bird from where I come from. Huh. You were the faceless man. I've had this same dream. No. So where is the dark castle? Castle of screams. That's what the crystal will find. Well, that sounds terrible. Honestly, that sounds not good at all. Um, can you narrow it down? Do you know where this castle might be? He's had a reason to think so. Oh, not really. Um, the lady I spoke to, the witch, she said that if I had the crystal, they'll show me the way to find my revenge on someone who tortured me as a child, maybe a friend. Well... That's exactly what she said. The words are tricky. Yeah. Uh, well, it might have been a specific crystal. All right. Uh, but I thought it was stolen. I'm not sure. So we have to find the dark castle, huh? Yeah. Well, that was my deal. If this is the favor you ask, it is a favor that I will grant. Yeah. All right, Danny's confused for a second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do I have to have this specific crystal, or was it one of the cloud giant? Find the crystal, find the doctor. That was the thing. Yes. So was the crystal a specific crystal? 
you don't know. You're on a need to know basis, Danny. <laughs> Truth. You don't need to know. I do need to know. You are well on your way. You know now that the crystal, at least the crystal that you're currently seeking, is one of the power sources to these flying castles. Which means they'll fall out of the sky. Maybe. But that has led you to seek for the the castle. So that's at the very least that's your next step. Yeah. All right. I face this man, so I'll tell you what. Where can I find you? <laughs> this is confusing to you? <laughs> no. How soon? I don't know. Like I said, there are hundreds maybe of these castles. And if it's occupied, we're not gonna get too close. Very few of them are derelict. So is he asking me like, where can you find me in the future? Like, so keep, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, we will go and we will search and we will, I'm from I believe we will find this castle, but uh, I do not know how long it will take. I'm from the new kingdom. It's called uh, Silver Fan Keep. Just popped up. It's called Eric's Lake. I don't know where that is. Uh, here, I, I'm gonna pull out a map, my map, and I'm gonna mark it and give it to him. So, yeah. I have the map. All right. Well, I have I have the map too. I have the only map. Oh. They don't make any other <laughs> map. <laughs> the only map that exists. Oh, so there's only one. All right, Absalom. I'll tell you this: <laughs> we will find this castle by my honor. I tell you, we'll do it. And then I will find you, and I will take you there. Right. And it will be done. Like, you're totally on your own from that point, all right? All right. I'm going to have some backup. All right, good. That's probably good. All right. So I'm going to head back home. <laughs> hey, by the way, who told you to find me here? Right. <laughs> Danny, I mean, so uh, see ya. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all, so so off you go. All right. What is everybody else doing back at the mainland? Doing some kung fu. I've got, all right. I've got my uh, I've got my council set up. I just okay. got, I just got back with Fogel my... Red Forge. Okay. I also have pictures of it. Excellent. You'll send this all to me, so I don't have to write yes, down. Okay. Yes. Lieutenant Gray uh, Shield. Sigurd Greyhound. Great. Steely Pate, Dane oh, Ironfoot, Steely, Steely Pate, Pate. <laughs> Steely Pate, what a name, Dane Ironfoot, Steph Slateheart, and Hugo, and if Hugo, Hugo will. Hugo will, absolutely. He was that's waiting for your invitation, but he will absolutely join the kingdom. That's my, um, that's my hardcore boy, dude. Yeah. I was waiting to hear back I'm, on info from Big Belly. Because we sent one of our that is true. sleeping checks. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah I, absolutely. Yeah, I don't know. However many I need to make, I guess. I'll yeah. Back. Um, a lot. Go ahead and roll one for, we'll say, the previous night. Don't forget you have that vagabond thing that gives you the treatment yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I got I've, been using, I've been using it. I still don't sleep good. Yeah. And so the nightmares persist, but you, you're able to get enough of a rest. That um, night. I do have a question. Mm -hmm. So you remember the, the giants banging on the door? Yeah. Did they come? Yeah, you've had a, a couple of excursions where they, now that you guys have like started to actually set up, they are a little bit more weary, leery, not weary, a little bit more leery about the whole situation. But your scouts, they're giants. They're not super subtle. But you, if you recall, your king, your castle is kind of set into this sharp cliff where it kind of levels out, plateaus a little bit before it kind of goes again further down right. the mountain. And you kind of have this ridge line that comes up along the side of it. They've been seen kind of peering up over the sides of the, the ridge line and, you know, trying to be sneaky as sneaky as rock giants can. You see predominantly rock giants, a few hill giants. Um, and things like that. A few ogres. 
but none of them have came to us like they did before. No, kind of, kind of scouting out and seeing what's up at this point. Yeah, I would. Um, I think I do want to go speak to speak to them. Like at some point, Send I want to speak. Yeah, I wanted to speak to you, like the other inhabitants that are on the mountain. Okay. Like, I mean, it's it's a mountain range. Or a mountain, I yeah, say, that's what I mean, like a mountain range. Yeah. Okay. Like the things that I'm close, especially I'm gonna start with the things I'm close to, and then sort of maybe work out. Okay. Yeah. So these giants are near me. Who who's your emissary? First, I think I probably sent some sort of like scouting party to even know like where where are these dudes located. Okay. Roll d twenty for me. Uh, 13 on the dice. I don't know what I'm adding or not. Yeah. Adding. Yeah. All right. So the 13, your scouting party comes back and they find that they're in an adjacent mountain. So within about a half, half a mile or so from okay. your kingdom, there are a series of caves, very much like the, like those native American homes that they kind of built into the side of mountains. Yeah. You kind of have that. We have several stories worth of these giant made caves that are kind of dug into the side wall of a mountain. Okay. And they Did, clock, they clock about, let me see here. Almost a hundred total. Okay. And this, this large kind of ravine that's been hammered out. Sure. Maybe a hundred giants, ogres, and there's a mix, but sure. it's giants, ogres and, and such. Okay. Yeah. I want to send like an emissary, maybe a small, like, I don't know, maybe three people, you know, um, just to see if we can maybe establish some sort of. What races are your emissaries? It's a great question. I will say he doesn't live here, but Tamaris is the half giant that uh, oh, was from boy. Starspire, and he was he's friends with Hugo. Yeah. Is that, one, is that the one that saved me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. Okay. I want to get him on board. Yeah, definitely okay. said him. <laughs> All right. So Tamaris. We can add that. Tamaris is yeah. with him. Tamaris. When you start talking about this, is one of the things that Hugo mentions and says that okay, cool. he would be interested. Yeah, then I would I would like him to have okay. him to be the emissary specifically to like giants and that's your yeah right. and so uh and just yeah just see you know let him know who we are you know get to know who they are he probably knows more than that but i wanted to sort of be like mm -hmm. that's what a kingdom does okay you know, yeah does. absolutely uh so who's going with him or you can you can be general here like what kind of two other people are you going to send with him <clears throat> i think i'm probably going to send garrett for sure Garrett, classic. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna send. I think if I got two other people here, that we're gonna send. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I'm also gonna send. Oh, Lenore. Okay. <laughs> She's gonna be a half elf. Uh, She's a bit of a uh, kind of a long range, you know, like half of ranger basically. It's kind yeah. of, that's the vibe I'm going for. Um, and then I'll probably do. Um, I'll probably do another. Uh, I'll probably do one dwarf. Yeah. Okay. But it's got to be somebody who, whose temperament is not like that. Can you? What about our like gray shielding in a work? What about our mage? Like, I will fight you. Yeah. For always. What about our mage? Yeah, I probably wasn't the mage. Our magic and giants generally don't go well. Yeah, I probably wasn't the mage. Um, so I'll pour, probably pour wherever. I'll probably send. Uh, how about Corbin? You want one of us to go? Yo, that's not a bad idea. No, it's actually a terrible idea. Rob's <laughs> 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 
That's not a bad idea. It's a terrible idea. Terrible would be a good idea. Where I'm at. Yeah, he'll just disintegrate. Him. That's a good idea. But you don't know that. So that's true. I don't. I don't. I also know you were part of a cult, though. So I feel like mm, you never quite trust. Me. Yeah, yeah but, but you know what? All right, Tan, I'm always up for making new friends. I I do. I, all right, here's what I I would like to say, Taryn, and I'm gonna think I'm gonna. Taryn, listen. I need you to go and go with this group. Take your look. It's just you and the, the you know and these two. Mm -hmm. But I need you to do it. I need you to do a good job. I need you to be serious. I need you to take it seriously. <laughs> okay. No wiener jokes. No. I think you're thinking it's all time. Kind of yeah, it's all time. Oh, it's definitely the two of them together for sure. But it, were you not a part of that? Tim? Part of what? Alton's wieners? No, I don't. I don't deal with that. Okay. All right. <laughs> All I'm saying is you're representing this kingdom. I'd prefer you to do a great job at it. I know you'll do okay. good. I can. Um, I actually have a couple things I'd like to talk to you to before I leave. Okay. Hold if, on. You ha if you have a moment. Well, the yeah, first one. Sure isn't as important as maybe the second, but the first one is, do you feel like, I know we've maybe had this conversation before, do you feel like frogs might be getting a little too, I don't know, Power greedy? Yeah, I mean, he super wanted the tower, which is understandable as him like wanting to be a wizard, but then like, I don't know, just like thinking through like what it took for us to get here, like uh, we spent as many potions on ourselves because of the damage he dealt than we did fighting an entire army of orcs. Um, You're not um, wrong. The thing is like, maybe you should, this, king, uh, this maybe kingdom needs to you, maybe this kingdom right. functions with the, with the council, right? I just feel like as a group, we should also function together and make decisions together. Even when Absalom leaves, he tells us where he's going. I don't want to tell frogs not to be frogs, but at the same time, like, you know, before you shoot ice downstairs, give us a heads up or, you know, if you're going to blast a room full of gaseous mushrooms. Maybe tell, you know, Abby to step back a few steps or something. Hang on a second, Terry. Hang on a second. I still have no idea. <laughs> and I lean down and I'm like, hey, listen, will you go get wrong It's just like one of those hey. uh, hands. Right. Off they go. Dwarven fella comes in. Oh, he's just sitting there playing with my <laughs> new dragon friend. The king would like to see if you're able. Uh, I'll be it's there in a second. It's also a little concerning to me. That he just traded Grimlock like that. that. Heals the name. Thanks for stopping by, man. <laughs> and I get, you I know? kind of get lost in like my book I'm reading, and I don't show up for like twenty minutes. Okay. Where's the guy working? Oh, is it the heel? Is that yeah. it? Heel? Kyle? 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 Yeah, it makes more sense from Kyle. Huh? Adam said, yeah. Oh, um, and yeah. <clears throat> Yo. Anyways, up, the, the reason the reason I'm bringing this up to you is because he trusts you more than he trusts anyone. You're kind of the one who's taking him under his wing. You know what I'm saying? I do. Yeah, dude comes back in. Uh, anyways. Majesty, I, I told him that he said he'd be just a couple of minutes. He was okay. working on something. I think we should just go ahead and talk about it now. Well, sure. Whenever he gets here. Uh, but there is an, there's another there's another thing okay. that I'd really like to talk to you about. So I know you gave me that spot in the garden to maybe, I don't know, start a temple kind of out like what's going on down there um so we have planted the tree 
and after much laboring and intensive care it is starting to actually grow and bloom um, i was i was visited by i don't know some other planar being some divine being from melora and uh she informed me that my mother, who I have no memory of, is the woman that I've been seeing in my dreams. And uh, she's enslaved. Enslaved by who? And I don't know who. I Before we took this journey, as we were walking up to the mountains, I saw a beacon out towards the north. Right? It was the north, right? Yes. Yeah. And uh, I think that might be where she is. I know we have a lot going on and there's a lot of decisions happening and you're, you're busy. I just, I don't, I don't know what her circumstances are. I don't know how much time I have to get to her. Do you wish to go there? I, I want to go there. Um, you want us to go with you? Yeah, I do, but I just, I mean, everyone's got their stuff going on. I just don't know what's more pressing at the time. Yeah, I mean, you're running a kingdom, Abby and Absalom are chasing down their evil oh, stepfather that me. does experiments. What's that? Who helped me get this kingdom? Yeah, but you can't abandon it as soon as you step into it. I never did say I was going to abandon it. Hugo's here, the council's here. All right, give me going for a little while. Yeah. I owe that to you. I was I was planning on not really saying anything about the dreams. Uh, I mean, I know I had told you and I, I talked talk to Carmack a little bit, maps on a little bit, but <sighs> The fact that Malor would step in makes it seem urgent to have a direct line of contact is, I mean, most people go on their entire life without experiencing something like that. It just seems pressing. Okay. I don't know, what do you think? Well, does Vrogs come in at any point? I said I was waiting 20 minutes. Yeah, okay. Okay. You, you guys have plenty of time to finish your gun. <laughs> yeah. Maybe about five more minutes or so, and then then he'll be in. Anyways, I'll do this giant mission or whatever, but no. I don't know. It's just I, I want I us to think it's about it. No, I think I'll, send, I'll send Garrett. In your place. Garrett is the wisest of all of us. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't agree more. He's a tradesman. Yeah. Yeah. You carry over here. I'll go ahead and summon you. Uh, Sir Garrett, please. I, yes, sir. Mm. And we'll go uh, investigate. See if your mom's over there. How does anyone hear from Absalom lately? You've gotten letters? Yeah, we've been getting letters. I deciphered. What's to say? What do you mean? I decipher your letter. It's a letter. Didn't we go over that? Each of, yeah, each of them are like, <laughs> the more you get them, the more like, I decide for that. Like crazy. It's just like what you just, it's like the, oh, we were talking about like the code that he puts in it. Net 20. Net 20. The code he puts into it is like, essentially like, I believe the options are coordination, the coordinates, some kind of coordinates, whatever the consistent, where the oh, yeah, coordinates yeah. would be in this time period, mm -hmm. like where he's at exactly. Where are you? Uh, last time you heard, I was going into the city. All right, well, I guess, how long ago was that? 
What'd you say? Going into the city? The pirate city? The pirate city, yeah. Oh, it's that's just a giant tavern. It's not oh. even really a, a Oh, the, city. Oh, the, the tavern. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're in Mystica. Yeah. yeah. So how, how long ago was that? Um, to this point that they're at now. I'm so, yeah, so now. oddly thinking. So it would probably been a few weeks prior. Okay, so then he would have gotten another one saying, I'm coming back. We'll jump in in the middle of that, though. There's something else. Yeah, this is on um, from that. So. Uh, I, I actually, one thing I wanted to do before I left that area is I want to stop by Captain Work and invite him to sort of meet. Sure. Yeah. We, yeah, actually, well, let's let's pick up there and we'll come back to when Vrogs comes back in. Um, but you, yeah, you send off your, your, Team of emissaries off yeah. into the mountains. Roll a d20 Cameras, for me. Garrett and Lenora. Lenore. Lenore. Or was it Lenora? Yeah, uh, I, mean, I maybe added the A, but yeah. We'll Lenora. Do Lenora. So uh, go ahead and roll a d20 for me. Advantage? Because he's using half giant? Yeah. 14. 14. Yeah. So you make your way back to Captain Warwick as you're kind of setting up some of your uh, passages and things like that. You go back to meet with him. Yes. Make sure I'm not followed by the pirate guy. All right. Um, Solid, solid thing to do. Because he did ask, and I was worried for Captain Warwick's safety. Okay. So go ahead and go ahead and roll. D20 for stealth or whatever. Um, Yes. Stealth if you want to be stealthy or. Uh, perception if you want to just kind of keep an eye out for it. Or noise if you don't want to be stealthy. Roll for that. I mean, if you can think of a way that you could. Yeah, you can do. You can yeah, just for, like look around while I'm sneaking around. <sighs> no, that's good. That's legitimate. I mean, it's no, that, no, that's legit. Ski. That's legitimate. Okay. I'm giving that to you. Which I thought you were like, that's legitimate. That's legitimate. Which is right? <laughs> that's what you were going to do. <laughs> oh, dude. That was no, a suck. Okay. Um, so, stealth was a natural 20. Okay. Nice. And right. then well, the other one right. was um, perception, I'm guessing, 16. Yeah. I was invisible. I'm sorry. Can't get enough. Huh? Well, what's your total stealth? Are you really, you hit natural, natural 20? 20 yeah. Okay. Um, I was the knight. All right. Well, <laughs> you are not seen, and you do not, not see anyone in return. That's that is that is where I get it right there, boys. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that our pound of yeah. chips. Sorry, I get to roar. So we started with Pringles. Dad's with pencils. Dad's like, oh, you got these sour cream and cheddar. Popping up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. So you make your way back to uh, Captain Warwick's house. Yeah. And uh, he invites you in and he kind of gives you, you know, some greeting, make he, makes you some tea, et cetera. And you guys just begin kind of shooting the breeze a little bit. Um, and then eventually he kind of comes to the point of something. Absalom. Yeah. I have a question for you. You don't have to call me that if you don't want to. Disrespectful. He prefers to be called Abby. <laughs> um, you know how I told you that I had been doing some work with the locals and I'm trying to remedy some of the circumstances, correct? Correct. There was a girl. This is difficult to explain. In short, she can unite the tribes. They have believed in a prophecy of a queen that would unite the kingdom. And we believe that it is this girl. And they do too. And that's maybe the more critical part here. But she's not safe. There are certain parties that would see her killed. They like the status quo, you understand? Yeah. 
I have kept her safe for three years, but I can do so no longer. Okay. Would you watch over her? Will you come with me? I cannot. My place is here to stand between the people of this land and their would-be captors. I have found a purpose beyond war. Yeah, yeah. Is, I mean, you just want me to take her back to the key. So, because of their culture, she cannot claim the crown until her 20th birthday, which is in three months. Gotcha. She was under the care of her brother and me, and he was recently killed. So she's no longer safe here, and she does not quite see that, which makes it difficult. But she does trust me, and she knows that I trust you. So if you can keep her safe for a short time, when she turns 20, she can return. As far as I know, I have access to one of the safest places in the world. I mean, no one really knows of it yet. <laughs> All right. When, when do you plan to leave? Tomorrow, probably. Right. I, told, uh, I told Eric I'd be back. Hopefully within a week. But this might take a little longer, too. Yeah, but I told him that. I've told, like, I'm assuming we've talked a lot. I tell him everything from what he's been saying. Oh, does he know of Eric? Well, only if you've told him. Well, I mean, like, does he know of the Iron Saint? Of the Iron Saint? No. Yes. Yeah. Okay. He knows the stories. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. So, yeah, I'm assuming okay. he knows. Because I've probably told him everything I've done um, past year. So. Right. Would you stay here tonight and then? Be off in the morning. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah. Uh, how, old, how old is she? Saying? Treya. And uh, you see her kind of walk in from another room. You could tell very quiet. You didn't even really notice her. You weren't really on the lookout for her. Maybe that was a part of it, but she was very quiet. But she comes around the corner of the room and she pulls back a hood. And you see a very like a dark-skinned woman. Um, she has almost like like very dark brown, not quite like like deep African black, but more of like the like a lighter dark brown. Oh, terrible explanation. Made a lot of like sense. Beyonce. Head, right? uh, yeah, yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> uh, and she does have very tight like caramel-colored braids that have like some white kind of woven into it. And she has these like vibrant green eyes that find you just find completely striking as soon as she pulls the hood down and she looks towards you. This is the man. And he nods. You're quiet. That'll be good. To get away, we'll have to be pretty quiet. To be clear, I do not want to get away. I understand. But. I'm getting everything. Well, you'll uh, you have no you'll come back. We'll get you back. I can see the value in what Captain Rourke has said. But my place is here with my people. And I'm not going anywhere. Three months. Trust me. Captain Rourke knows what he's doing. I trust this man with my life. I'm sure you do too. I have no choice. Would you show me your face? You have to wait an hour, but uh, I could. I have time. Okay, no, I'm saying I, I want to do this because I haven't got to do it. Ever. Do it. Are you doing it? Yeah. He did it. <laughs> She's gonna be like, Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> 
What a potato. Change it back. Change it back. Put the mask on. Put the mask on. Bulging eye. So let's see here. It makes sense. Like so, it should be I, so I have incredibly Curious beautiful features. Oh, one yes. of the most beautiful people you've ever seen. Wow. And then, uh, let me go to that. And then, 91. Um, I'm an air croaker. <laughs> I'm an air croaker face. Oh, wow. So you just have like, this like, beautiful, like osprey face. eagle type face. Yeah. Like, yeah. Let me do one more random Majestic, majestic air. Yeah. 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 And I have a beard, but it's visibly. It's a beard of feathers. That. That's lame. Okay, I'll do one more of not that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you just look disturbed. <laughs> the NPC. Uh, so yeah, I'm a, I, I'm a, I grow like a few inches. Like I'm, I'm normally tall. Okay. Which an air croaker would be, but I'm not going to shake the shake yeah. shake your feathers. You know, yeah. no so, really beautiful like bird. Majestic <laughs> a really nice beautiful bird. Like, totally like <laughs> beautiful pretty bird. bird I pretty bird. <laughs> and then an hour passes, and and the it's magic of it fades. Uh, very uh, boring, average-looking farm boy. All right. Wow. So. Bird, Three months. Yep. Okay. And so the night fades, morning comes, and you begin to set sail. Um, I do warn her about the nightmares. She's, she's not happy. Mm -hmm. They're not pleasant. Yeah. She's okay. happy. She's happy. She's happy. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so your, your passage goes without issue, and you make your way back to Silver Fang Keep. Um, about this time ish, Vrogs, you make your way back into the royal chambers, I guess, the uh, throne room, council room. Yeah, it's like the council room. Okay. okay. Just doing business. Are you still a human, bro? Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, what? Uh, Majestic my, my bird. As, as a, when I take my mask off for an hour, it makes my parents random. So he rolls with a beautiful bird. Yeah, beautiful bird. Or any bird man. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, frogs. Summon? Yes. Um, Taryn, Taryn and I have a couple things we'd like to address with you if you wouldn't mind. Um, sure. Somebody's in trouble. You're Taren, not there, all time. And start or should I? Say, say, real quick, in the letters, it does tell you um, I'm coming back. And then in the in, in like uh, that, that's all it says. But in like the secret part of it, it says it says gives my coordinates. And then plus also tells you, yeah, plus one, something like that. So. Yeah, I mean, frogs. What we have to say to you is because we love you. We also love ourselves. Are we having a <laughs> are we having an intervention on D and T? Is yeah, that what's yeah, going so on I'll right bet, now? Uh, yeah, man. I'll bet, That's exactly what's happening. I'll bet Taryn loves himself all the time. <laughs> <laughs> right now, <he's> crying, <laughs> throw a fit. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Let us get through what we say, and then you can flip. <laughs> Start throwing those chairs around. Okay. <laughs> we just <laughs> we're concerned that lately. Your actions, though noble, may be a little erratic. How so? And dangerous. Well, I mean, you blasted Absalom with a fireball. Twice. You knocked us into a pit with an abolith. Uh, you traded one of our dear friends for a pet. Um, so just, no, just no, to name a couple of things. I didn't trade him for a pet. I gave him a safer place than what we could provide for him. You... No, you traded him. No. <laughs> you have a pet and you don't have a gun. Yeah. It was it, a deal. It's a deal. A <laughs> <laughs> That's a trade only. I, 
I gave I gave I her to him was... to protect him. Was he in danger here? Huh. Well, you've seen what she could do. She... Yes, she kills people. She made Alton kill her trainer. Not exactly. We we don't know that he killed her, right? Jaren yeah. does. Sure. I yeah. do. <laughs> I don't, but Jaren does. I did, I did it. <laughs> I <laughs> did it. <laughs> it happened. I mean, I we definitely him. know because well, he's not I'll dead. Well, I killed the dead. <laughs> my, <laughs> I I mean, we, we all know because we know the deal that he made. My people look at her dead. differently <laughs> from how she's you missing. all view her. Yeah, I think we would all know. Yeah. Just based on the fact that they missed it. I'm going what, what to insight check that. Can I insight check that? Yeah. What or is that, is like that true? I don't I don't know if that's true. I natural My twenty, dude. Look at her differently than what you guys do. Oh uh, yeah, you believe that he believes that. You're not exactly sure what he means by that, but he he fully believes that he did a selfless thing. Okay. Almost. It's goes. <laughs> it's goes alone. <laughs> Listen, frogs. We're saying this because you're important to us and we don't want you to get hurt. We don't want you to hurt us. We just all kind of have to be aware of each other when we're in situations. I, I'm, I'm not saying you shouldn't have fire blasted those mushrooms. I'm just saying like, before you do it, be like, yo, I'm about to launch a fireball. Maybe like stand back. But in <laughs> so another sense too, if you call it out, that's also giving the enemy a heads up they were mushrooms i don't think they could have heard or cared to I mean, have I heard to stick. Will you trust me <laughs> can you hear becky Eric. hey <laughs> it's okay you know i still care about you eric you're gonna have to say something here i think i'm just making it worse <laughs> <laughs> Eric, every, everything I do is trying to protect. I'm still learning how to control my magics. I've been alone so long. I will try to be better. Alton comes in playing a very tiny violin. I do have a question. Yeah. <laughs> Would you get After one I of finish this special. The lady of the tree. If you were in some sort of danger and I feel like it would be beneficial to you from getting hurt, I would give myself to make sure you guys were okay. Wasn't he also like ancient? I mean, he was pretty much going to the lady of the tree the next day, anyways. Yeah. Thank <laughs> 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 he was going there and, anyway, wasn't he? In, in no. all, all fairness, she did heal him of all his tortured wounds and all of that. I'm not mad at you, bro. It was with a good heart I did this. I don't want you guys to think yeah. I didn't do this without thinking. I, it's, it's not that. No, okay. that's not that. We think your noble intentions. We just think Maybe noble cut. intentions aren't always yeah. well thought out. <laughs> That's what Mike said. That's not what I said. But Grimlick was more than me a friend. He was he was family. And I was trying to take care of my family. Yes, but you also blasted your family with a fireball. <laughs> I think that's really I've almost died like three times to a fireball. It's okay. Yes, but it doesn't what? have to be that way. <laughs> I, I told you, I'll try to do that. I'm still trying to figure this thing out. Okay. We just wanted to make you aware so that, you know, going forward, you would maybe have an idea of, you know, we all have things we can work on. Yeah. <laughs> Next time I'll come whisper you, to you and say, hey, I'm doing this. You sound pretty insensitive. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And then I walk out. Okay. Um, I'm going to pat, pat him on the head. Did I hear anything back from that adventuring party? 
about Big Belly. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll go to that. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. They've been gone for a couple of weeks. And I specifically wanted them to come talk to me about it. Yeah. How long would it take me to get back? I brought um, with this chick. Uh, we, well, she gave me yes. a yeah. what? But No. Can no, I she's see? very stately, although you can tell that she's also... Is she like a warrior? Yeah. Like, can she fight? She, she looks well-built, very athletic. Um, thick. She... <laughs> That's a thick here. Sorry. Oh, like, she does carry, she have any weapons? She does carry a, a staff that looks like it's... Um, it has like several charms hanging from it. Almost kind of... Almost like a shaman type staff. Okay. I'm gonna show her like a few tricks, like kind of like, kinda, like ask her if she wants to spar or anything. Kind of like, you know, kind of show her a few tricks. Like I also like you go. Want to see a few tricks? Yeah. So, uh, so make an investigation check to see how much she will kind of reveal to you. Oh yeah. Look at the size of this staff. Uh, she okay. Yeah. So kind of like back and forth, you guys fight a little bit, and that kind of honestly it, it loosens her up a little bit more, and so she she begins to kind of speak to you. Uh, you can tell that she was. <laughs> She was just kind of angry at the fact that she knew that Rorik was right, that she had to leave <laughs> because just out of sheer numbers, she would have, it would have been a disaster if she had stayed. Okay. If she can make it to her 20th birthday, she can come back, she can unite the tribes, and then they stand a chance. You also find out that she is a druidess of some pretty oh. substantial uh, ability. Okay. Whoa. Frogs. Yeah. Nice. Frogs knows a safe place she can go. Just come get oh me. god. <laughs> Are you going or something? And then Brogs comes back yeah. with another yeah, dragon. I, yeah. Yeah. I was wondering. I, I have a pseudo dragon and a fairy dragon at that yeah, so it is it's a couple of weeks at sea. The sea, I, I travel across the ocean. Yeah, yes. Yeah, Mastique is a far off island. This one. Jungle <laughs> island. Yeah. That's what it was. You yeah. traded another friend. Well, you see, guys, as I got a out. <laughs> I asked Rogs. Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah. can I see Becky, please? Uh, sure. Yeah. Becky. Can you please... Did she say something? Keep a, just rein him in a little bit. Did you, like, whisper to her? Okay. You can hear it. Yeah, you okay. heard what I said. Because in reality, he doesn't, I mean, yeah, he doesn't think that she's sentient. He doesn't know how. No. Yeah. In my mind, I'm doing it for you. Like you're talking to her through, like, to get to me or whatever. Yeah. Make an insight check for Becky. Is Brock's master chief? Yeah. And that's Cortana. Uh, is that with advantage with her? I'm not sure. No. No? Okay, it's just 10. Ten. Okay. So when she gets back to you, she goes, you know, I think he's got a lot on his plate, but I think he does care about you, Brooks. Uh, I think they all do. It's just rough being a mage, you know? Mm-hmm. I can't. It's a hard it's, life, like. Sometimes the spells just go wrong, or wrong and stuff gets blown up and... <laughs> Can't help it. I'm just a little goblin trying to survive. That's all I'm doing. I understand. I I find myself struggling with the power that's coursing through me as well. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> now the fireball in the cave wasn't that an accident? Like you didn't actually use fireball, did you? I used fireball in the. I thought it was wild uh, magic. I think it was wild magic. Yeah, I think I one of them was. Because I dropped the fireball on myself and yeah. almost killed me. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's what it was. It was wild magic. You didn't yeah. mean to do that. Well, I mean, Taryn wasn't there, you though. He just assumed. Yeah, yeah. I just know about the blast. Yeah. I've tried to kill us. <laughs> so, so you you make your way I mean, back to fair. the mage tower? Yeah. So oddly enough, this is weird. Yeah, it almost makes you take a double take. But as you're approaching the mage tower, oh, by the way, here, I kind of did, I tried to draw up some sketches to see if this would maybe help people understand a little yes. bit about what's going on. Not an artist. All right, so this, the top sketch is like the exterior shot of the the mountain entrance. Yep. Now that the, yep, yep. the rock has been kind of blown away. Uh -huh. You guys see that? Uh, this was the <laughs> opening chamber room. I don't know if that, that's on there or not. Yeah, yeah. So that was like 
the open with the statue, the middle picture. Um, this picture is an odd, but it's kind of like a side view of the city part, right? So if you remember, it's that it was a giant hallway that was blocked off, but now has like lowered down into a ramp. And the ramp meets up with the rest of the road that does like a big square spiral down. We're looking at, up. yeah, so looking down at like a cross view would look something like this. You buildings, and then it comes down a pathway, and then more buildings. <laughs> yeah, so it's like the, this is the ramp down, and you've got buildings that kind of line the walls, and then it ramps down again. And so is it sort of ministerial? Ish. Ish, but like inverted. So right. instead it goes, yeah, down. Instead of going up, it goes down. And then the, uh, the yeah, so again, so this is kind of like a really rough sketch of what it would look like. And then above is the castle keep. It comes down like a big stalactite. Um, there are stairs that come out. And then one of the, these are all like built out structures from it. Uh, and again, it's got like the big crystalline throne room. And one of the towers actually extends down like an elevator to the to the main city platform. But there's also stairs that go around as well. Um, so you know. But you make your way back to the wizard tower, of which one of the floors had been converted to yours. Uh, there are three um, three three floors currently. Yeah. So it's like you walk in, everything goes down so to get deeper. So you um, you go in and you swear for a split second you saw Andorot walk into the Ooh. tower just before you. The door closes behind. That was just did that. Make a perception check. It's a seven. Seven. Was that that douchebag wizard? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a little mad right now. That's what I thought I saw. Let's go light him up. All right. So you walk into you walk into the wizard tower, and you, you again. Wait, you see, like, can can I, I cast fireballs? Is there a, is there a door he went into? Uh, yeah, like the door that kind of leads from the, the hallways to the interior of the wizard tower. Oh, okay. I want to cast clairvoyance. Okay. And do that. What does that do? I have no idea. Uh, one second. Should, it's a divination spell. You should okay. run back. Uh, like see the future or something? You should run no. back tell Terry. You create you an invisible sensor with an range <laughs> range in a location be familiar to you. I, I assume it's familiar to me. I've probably been mm -hmm. on the other side. Inside of the, the, yeah, inside the wizard tower. Um, or an obvious location that is unfamiliar to you, such as behind a door, around a corner, or in a grove of trees. The sensor remains in place for the duration and can't be attacked or otherwise interacted with. When you cast a spell, you choose seeing or hearing, and you can choose the you can use the chosen sense to the sensor as if you were in that space. As your action, you can switch between seeing and hearing. Okay, so the way that the tower is built is you the, walk into the tower from the, the exterior door, right? Yeah, and, and all they would see in there is like a luminous orb. Okay, it's visible? Yeah, it's visible. Okay. So you you walk into the exterior door, right? So like the, the doorway from the outside. And inside here is a small, like a room, and then a corridor with a spiral staircase that spirals down to the next floor. Straight ahead from the exterior door is the door that leads into your chambers. That's your floor. And then it comes down to the second floor. There's a chamber there. And then it goes down to the third floor. And then there's a chamber there. Right? Does that kind of make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So where do you put your sensor? Inside gonna... your room or inside the stairwell? I'm probably going to check both. I'm going to do seeing first. Okay. And then if I don't see anything, I'll move out the door. And then can it move? It's a it concentration spell. Okay, so it can move. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's within like an within range in a 10 minutes range up to a mile. Let's see. And Quick. it's a concentration. So let's see if you can move it though. Doesn't really otherwise you may have to it doesn't really state whether it moves or not. It just says in a location familiar to you. It remains in place for the duration. So wherever you put it, it stays there. 
for a mile? Okay, so I yeah. guess before I'd cast it, I'm gonna check to see if he's outside the door. Quietly. Okay, so it looks like he went inside the exterior door, which then closed behind him. So you don't know if he would have gone down the stairs or gone into your chambers. Can I kind of slowly open the door and kind of try to get an idea of where he Open the been? door and you can hear footsteps. <laughs> Sounds like he's walking down the stairs. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try to catch up with him. If I see it's him, I may just, I think I'm just gonna attack him. Okay, ro uh, roll a stealth check. No questions asked. This is like a really, <laughs> really strong Halloween. Uh, Brogs <laughs> really hates this guy. Uh, eight. <laughs> is that that douche? Hey. Well, <laughs> me and Absalom are, had already made a plan to do end in this anyway. dude. Yeah. Absalom's not here, though. Yeah, I'm not alone. Yeah. Yeah, Becky. <laughs> uh, we're is alone this, in a stairwell, bad? so I'm probably going to take my chance here. He's pretty powerful. Like, he probably could TPK maybe. <laughs> he could take him if he knows he's coming, huh? He hurt my family, dude. <laughs> no, this dude's no, no, this dude, no boy is strong. He's strong. <laughs> I'm curious. All right, know. we'll pause here for a second while I pull up the character. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, Cormac, what are you up to? What's a, what is the equivalent of a level 30 anniversary? <laughs> I may get spanked here. I may die, but we'll see what happens. That's what she said. <laughs> you got the element of surprise on here. Yeah. I feel like uh, Cormac is just kind of, I don't know, he's been hanging out at the kingdom and... I have oh. a familiar I forgot I had. Mm. I'd like to send him forward because I can see through his eyes. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? He has, he has yeah, limited sorry, yeah, What is it? Yeah, I was going to say, like, uh, I, I've just kind of been hanging out at the kingdom, kind of like helping out where I can and um, trying to do research on portals and, and talking to my new friend. <laughs> Right, right. Um, and like you guys have such interesting conversations, sometimes about like deep political things and like uh, sometimes just about like woodworking and the different movements of Dragonborn and, and all, just you just have like crazy conversations with this person um, or this entity. But you do notice that they are always initiated by it. Never like you can never call out to him. He always yeah. just pops in kind of randomly. Creepy. Got it. Got it. Okay. Uh, Alton. Okay. Is you? Yeah, Alton. Yeah. What do you got going? <laughs> besides, so, besides the brewing and everything, uh, make roll a d twenty for me. Okay. What am I rolling? Just a straight D20? Yeah. 10. 10? It's going pretty well. Could be going better. Could be going worse. So it's going pretty well. You've had some people that have made special trips to okay. just try that, which is an interesting thing. Okay. All right. Uh, I want to go into the brewery. How far along are we in actually, like, setting stuff up? Uh, it is fully functional by this oh. point. Yeah, you guys are you guys are up and running. You are, you have, you're making your own stuff. You have – your tavern business is going pretty well. One of the more oh. popular places because it's the only, like, locally made right. thing. So all the other places have to kind of import so the prices are a little bit more. So who's, who's the – I guess the VP? You are. I'm the VP. Yeah. Who's next in charge, though? I mean, I assume that I. Oh, you want? Oh, you stuff. like a like a manager? Type yeah, 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 thing? yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so you don't have to deal with Garrett. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I assume not. Garrett. I have an underling, right? Yeah. Garrett. Uh, Garrett is involved in the process. Is he's he's kind of been promoted to like your, I don't know. Can't even think of who. He's gonna be killed by giants. He, he's he's like your uh, your trade. So he's been, he's worked up a lot of the trades and different okay. things like that. Um, your VP, where'd you go? Uh, is actually um, slim. <laughs> where's where's my dwarf? Where's my dwarf? slim Hondig. Oh, I see dwarf. 
stood behind that slim Han digger. Brewster Gernheis. <laughs> No. That's his brother. It's Rosia Gladstone. Rosia? Yes. How the heck do you spell that? R H O S I A. Rosia. <laughs> Gladstone? Yeah. Um, male dwarf? Female. Female dwarf, okay. Female dwarf, um, human equivalent to about 35. She's about 60. Okay. 60 ish. Oi, uh, Rosia. How are we doing? Well, pretty well. We've got uh, pretty steady business here for uh, lunchtime. It's not too bad. Uh, so, how are the, uh, how are the brews coming along? Oh, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Come on. Come on. Take a look. Take okay. A look. Um, so, that, uh, that one thing that I mentioned to you uh, mm -hmm. about starting some new uh, flavors. Right. We don't need right. work on those yet. We've made some experiments, but they've not gone very well. Okay. And, like, you see, as you kind of, like, walk walking through the back she's like you know very much like charlie and chocolate factory like walking through some of the things whatever she's like here we've got some of the taste testing and you see a dwarf who's like <laughs> he's like yeah see it's not going very well he's uh ah uh, he's been throwing up for about 20 minutes straight now how much did he have a cup okay let's uh let's keep moving then all right all right so uh but the the, the the taps have been flowing good. The business is good. We've got uh, some good trade. That, uh, so, uh, got, it's been doing well. got some stuff going out to uh, other cities and things. Aye, yes, uh, that's what Garrett's been arranging for us. We've got a few places up in Eamon. Um, Brost is good, and a, a few along the trade way as well. Brost, okay. Uh, now, listen, I don't want this to become swill. I really want to keep it uh, top shelf, you know? I don't want to. What do you take me for? I oh, know, I know. I'm not saying in terms of the product. I'm saying in terms of how we distribute it. I don't, uh, I don't want mass quantities. I'd rather produce reasonable amounts, charge them reasonable prices. You know, I want to stay. Uh, hey, I understand, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The floor, I get that. Um, if we got any, uh, got any, uh, like we call them, like inns that have uh, really adopted us yet. Um, no, the, there's the one in Bros that we've, we've just got the one point of contact there. I know about Bros, but I want to, I want to expand. Uh, tell you what, uh, Kenneth, have you seen him in a while? Not in a while, not in a, a few hours anyway. Okay, uh, I want you to go find him. Uh, he had a contact in, uh, one of the towns, I don't remember what it was. Uh, I tell you what, find him, tell him to come talk to me. I want to send him out, uh, on a mission. I think that I could use him to, uh. Get a word out. So find him, send him away. All right, we'll do. Uh, okay. Um, so I'm gonna go out after we're done talking. Uh, I'm gonna go into the the, the street, okay. and I'm gonna very conspicuously practice some of my martial arts. All right. So, so make a performance check for me. Yeah. Can, you can I also... make one of your acrobatics okay, checks sweet. as well. Acrobatics. <laughs> does it have to? Does it have to just like beat a ten, or does it have to be a specific? Uh, yeah. There's a specific number. Yeah, well, but like acrobatics to strength is that right um uh, it's, it's your acrobatics it's not athletics so yeah it's Dang your it. dex, dex based i don't have that on here uh mm -hmm. dex based third no 14 14 14's enough hey 14 is enough. okay and then performance check that's charisma Ooh, hey, hey uh 19 all right oh yeah, and you definitely have some people that like are starting to take notice. You're basically doing some like parkour ninja stuff. In yeah, yeah, I'm gonna try to play it off real cool. Like, oh, I didn't see you was uh watching, just uh doing my workouts. A few, uh, is it like Stay a limbo. couple like, younger dwarven? Because I mean, it's a pretty heavily dwarven population. What did you decide on your percentages for the the population actually? Before I go on. Oh. So it's going to be 80% dwarf. Okay. 10% human. Mm -hmm. And then. I don't know, you say 10% human? 10% human. And then probably like five. I don't, know, I don't know. The last ten percent is probably like mix. 
Yeah, like that half giant dude, the you know, a gnome here and there, a couple elves here and there, half elves. Miscellaneous. It's mostly human and right. Um, so yeah, so a few humans, a couple dwarven dwarven kids kind of yeah, kind of gather up around you. Hey, hey, uh, you, I could use a sparring partner. You, uh, want to go? No, not really much of a fighter. Oh, I mean, anybody can learn to be a uh, fighter with a right teacher, you know? Okay, yeah. See what right. we can do. Come on, yeah. come on. Uh, is it a... Uh, uh, it's a kid looks maybe like 12 or 13, maybe. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Aaron. And dwarf is 40. You don't sound uh, very convinced of that. Well, I don't worry I about really it. I know you. Okay, uh, hit me. I don't know right you. Here. Do it. He kind of like looks around at the other kids like, yeah, get him, get him. Yeah. Get him in the ear. Get him in the ear, please. Right. <laughs> Takes a swing. At wait, you. wait. I'm gonna very casually like it, cup one me. hand around my nuts <laughs> just to make sure. <laughs> uh, no, he takes it. He takes a swing at you and punches you square in the chest. Solid hit. Okay. Hold right, eighteen on the dice. Goes, oh, jeez. Ah, that's impressive. Uh, okay, you want to know how to uh, how to hit stronger? You know, because that was uh, it was tough, but I think you can do better. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Now I want you to uh, lock the hips in place. No. And as you swing, when you extend, I want you to pivot the hips. So you put your power in the hips. Right. And so yeah. this this kind of goes on. You you start to uh, train this boy up. Yeah. You start. To, hey, you Adam. Start training session. Yes. Yeah. Hey. You shot. Uh, I was. Gonna, gonna, you. Uh, huh, huh? I don't know. I I wanted to go look for something for my wyvern and, and get a bow and arrow. Any chance that I'm walking past this happening in the street? <laughs> no. No. Mostly okay. because I don't want to draw it out. <laughs> So, so no, coincidentally, you did not pass at this exact time. Uh, you suck. Yeah. Yeah, Me and Evan have been trying to fight for like 20, 20 episodes. It's just not right. happening. Your, your time Back will come. Season three. Your time will come. Uh, but yeah, so your your training session goes goes pretty well. Sweet. And after a little bit of time, um, crap, what was the guy's name? Kenneth. Kenneth does come up to you. Um, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt or anything. But no, no, no. Rose uh, sent me. Yeah, we was talking a while back. You mentioned a uh, a hotel that you knew something about. Kind of rundown place they was trying to fix up. Right. Um, yeah, out in Murin, right off the coast. Yeah, I think that sounds right. You said something about him uh, doing renovations or something like that. Yeah. So uh, I've got an idea. So a lot of places uh, they like to feature something. It's not just we're not a hotel with something uh, more. You know, there's a yeah. reason to come. Right. Uh, is there some way that you think maybe we could set up something like a, a special deal um, where we provide a uh, like an exclusive brew from us that you can't get nowhere else? And uh, I don't know, maybe we set it up like a deal, like uh, come to this inn, take a stay, but also we got the best uh, micro brewery uh, pub drinking thing around, you know? Uh, come stay for the hotel, but for the drinks too. Um. Yeah, I can. I can go. You think you can pitch it for me? To yeah. Okay, the, so uh, I've got yeah. I've got a real solid idea for a brew. What tastes different for everybody? What tastes it? So yeah. everybody, what tastes it? Gets a different thing, you know. Well, how do you do that? Don't worry about that. I'll figure it out. Okay. Uh, but if you go, you pitch this to them, tell them that uh, we work up a couple special brews just for them, mm. and make it something of a tourist attraction, you know. Isn't that nice. from Harry Potter, dude? Yeah, uh, I tell you what, um, I'm gonna send you out. I want you to pitch this idea, right. uh, see what they think, let them know, send me a letter back, and I'll work out uh, the logistics and stuff. All right, you got it. Okay. All right. So off he goes to Murin. Um, all right, cool, cool. That's where I'm at. Right? Who was? No. Mystica. Oh, yeah, you were in Mystica. I'm bad about these names. What did I call Zanzibar again? Uh, well, that's exactly maybe it. you call it Zanzibar. Oh. It's called Zazaspar. How do you spell <laughs> Murin? M U R R A N. No, I'm sorry. M U R A N N. I knew there was a oh, double in there. Um, yeah, I guess I don't know. It's Zaz. Yeah, we just called it Zaz for short because I don't think any of us was saying it right. <laughs> I think it's actually like supposed to be Zazaspur. Zaza, Zaza, I changed it Zaza to Zazaspur. Zazaspur just rolls off the tongue. Yeah. Right? It sounds good. Um, 
All right. There's two Still. things. There's two things I would like to get that are kind of yeah. important, and we don't have to role play it. I just want to be able sure. to get it. So it needs. I was hoping to get like almost like a leather muzzle kind of thing with a steel tip to go over the wyvern's tail so i can bring him out in public okay so just uh, one for the tail or one for his face as well i mean it's got already at this stage no. it, the tail is the most most lethal aspect but uh i mean it does still have sharp teeth like it can still i don't want to muzzle his teeth but if i could get some kind of like maybe leash kind of thing i don't know how big yeah. he is how big is he I mean, at, at this stage, he's about the size of, okay, so he's only about a few weeks old. So he's about yeah. the size of like, uh, oh man, a pug. So yeah. uh, like, I'm not going to try and muzzle his face. Yeah. yeah. So this thing, again, this thing has like the head of a dragon. So it's like a very much yeah. like a dragon style face. So it's when its head is about this big. It goes down and has these very thin, uh winged well like the the i mean like the i'm gonna call it fabric the fabric of its wing is very thin at this stage um but it's still kind of leathery and and it's not like it it tears easily it's just very very thin almost translucent you can see the muscles and the bones and things in its in its small arms it only has like these small hook like appendages on the ends of its wings it doesn't have mm -hmm. arms specifically other than that it's got like these two kind of stubby little legs and it's got the tail with the uh, razor sharp deadly poisonous stinger on it um yes either you know kind of like what you're what you're dealing with it keeps its wings tucked in pretty tight and pretty uh secured at this point just because they're so fragile but it does still use the like the claw tips of the appendages on the wings to try to to maneuver about and things like that but just so you know yeah. Yeah, I would. I'm gonna try avoid muzzle. I'll buy muzzle, I guess, but I'm not gonna use it right away. I'd rather just kind of have like a a leash kind of harness thing for it. But definitely okay. something yeah. to put over the tip of the tail. Right. Okay. So maybe two two to five gold. The the tail thing is a specific purchase. The as far as the leash, that's a little bit easier to accommodate. So about five gold total. You can go ahead and mark that off okay. and. You have a functional muzzle for the tail as well as a harness with the thing. Um, and then and go then ahead and make an animal handling check for me. This will be another one of your. Oh, hate to see it. That is a natural one. <laughs> okay. Well, the subterranean died. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> it's been nice knowing you. Stick you in the neck. <laughs> Weird. But, uh, what was that? Old school or whatever? No. Oh, you're yeah, right in the neck. Oh, that's the most powerful <laughs> trick lens for the <laughs> open market. Right. So. Yeah, you're taking massive damage. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know how much oh, HP you think. have, but you take, you do take a sting at one point, which is <laughs> one piercing damage okay and that's, that's, that's a lot though 35 poison damage yikes okay does, does it have to i mean is there no ac does it have to roll for an attack or is my roll a miss yeah that's okay. basically you kind of rolled in it so yeah at this one I'm point not, i'm not dead but okay i was curious if it knocked you at knocked you out or anything like that <laughs> Um, no. So yeah, just kind of like in the quiet of your room, you're like, you know, messing around with it, trying to talk to it and all this stuff. And you, there's like a, a noise outside and, and you kind of turn just at like the wrong time and it, it startles it. And then and the next thing you know, you feel this burning sensation in your leg and you hit the ground and you spit up like this black foam stuff. What does this mean? It's pretty intense, but you are able to recover and- I'm going, I will move. think to that it as fail, and try. Way. Okay, I'll sing to it though and try and put it on again. Yeah, I don't know if I have to roll for that, but I, I. Yeah, you don't have to roll for it. Eventually, you do get to the point where you okay. you are able to kind of acclimate it to the harness, and then it doesn't doesn't seem to mind it anymore. How many rolls do I need to make? Do I know? Did Did you tell me? Um, no. Train it? We're just gonna progressively okay. go as well, it gets better. Okay. Um, the other thing I'd like to get, and this is the thing, I don't know how this works with Eric being the king. I would like to just get a really nice longbow. 
Okay. Like exceptionally nice, almost like ceremonial nice. Do you want like a magical one or just one that just looks really nice? I'll I'll take a magical one if there's one available. I just assumed there wasn't because of where we with the town just starting. That was uh, William Scott. Oh, Scott William Scott. Oh, yes. <laughs> That was intense. Like that looked legit. It was crazy. You see, Will, you're crazy. You're crazy. Insane, dude. Ah, uh, sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the cost of this real quick. Um, okay. so play, you know, sure. Plus one longbow. So, mm -hmm. was this? His pet did that to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck him in the neck. <laughs> That's why we're watching that video. Like, thing was like, uh, it it runs you a thousand fifty gold for a plus one longbow. Would my wyvern actually? Okay, I actually have exactly a thousand. Will they take a thousand for it? Yes. What? Okay. I actually don't know, like, what, Eric, did you ever give us money for saving the kingdom? Like, this is just what I had before we went into the dungeon. I don't know. Did we get any money from that? I know we spent it's up to you. I'm just curious. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. I got a brewery. Yeah, we have a bunch of stuff right now. Are you guys partners? Or yeah, you guys, um, I give you all my money. Kind of open gig, I think. Yeah, I'm assuming that maybe you get a cut of the profits, but probably not anybody else. You're the king, right? Yeah. I'm the king of the pie. Three, three, three grand. Three grand each. <laughs> all right. Okay, cool. Wow. All right. So, all right. What? Okay. Right. Let's wait. I'll take it. I'll get it eventually, but. Uh, it's in the bank. It's in the bank of Eric. Yeah. All right. So, in the stairwell of the Mage's oh, Tower, wow. oh, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm using my uh, your fairy dragon. No, it's a, uh, it's pseudo, a pseudo dragon. dragon. Your pseudo I wish dragon. I had a fairy dragon. Right. Yeah. Fairy dragon can be invisible. Pseudo yeah. dragon cannot. Correct. So make a stealth check for the pseudo dragon. He also he has keen sense. Okay. I don't know if that helps. Not his stealth check. Okay. Ooh, pretty good. Uh, what stats for stealth? Is that dex? Yeah. yeah. All right, that's gonna be eighteen. Eighteen. Right. So yeah, it's kind of like sneaking along the stairwell corridor, following him down. He goes past the second floor, continuing down towards the third floor. Uh, he sees him doing that. Mm -hmm. He's um, he's kind of tailing. I want my pseudo kind of dragon to go one. up to him okay. quietly, and I want him to sting him. Whoa. Okay. You didn't lose your pseudo dragon already. Yeah, pseudo dragon. So I, I take it he's stealth enough, he doesn't see this coming. Correct. Okay. I'm rolling to hit. Solid. Uh, cocked. 14. Uh, is he, he, he getting advantage? Well, he's he's stealth, right? Well, yeah. The first yeah, you can roll with advantage. Is he any plus or no? Better. 16. 16 that hits. That is what's his plus. Oh. Okay, so uh, it's 1d4 plus 2. So 4 damage total. The target must succeed on a DC 11 constitution saving throw or become poisoned for an hour. If he fails the saving throw by five or more, the target falls unconscious for the same duration until it takes damage or another creature uses an action to shake it awake. I got an 18. Okay, oh. so he's not poisoned. <laughs> that was okay. So how, how much damage though? Uh, four. So I'm gonna come running down the stairs at this point. Okay. Don't do it. It's a trap. He ain't unconscious or anything? No, he didn't fail it by five or more. So he would have had to roll like a five yeah. on this save. And you got nobody with you, huh? Nope. 
Rogs is pretty hot at, hot at this guy. I said, he he's the one that <laughs> the guy that everything sounds that good, I uh, gave to Alba. the lady of the Alba tree for my dragon, my pseudo dragon. Alba. He Alba. enslaved him, and we had to buy him dragon. off of him. My name's Alblin. So yeah, Bro Brogs isn't really happy with this dude. The name is Frog. Frogs. B R O G Z. Um. All right. So as you're running in, you see a flash of light. Um, let's see. He's just going to uh, 18 versus AC on your uh, 13. Pseudo dragon. 13. Yeah. Okay. Which I can resummon him, right? Because he's my familiar. Yeah, it's a fake creature. Um. He would just go into. Oh, that's different with the wings in the tree lady. Because that's how I assume he is not. You can you. Oh, I, mean, uh, no. I didn't realize that. That he, I mean, he is, he's your familiar, but he's not like the fine familiar. Oh, familiar okay. I didn't realize that. a separate creature. Oh, no. Uh, it's going to be 17 damage. He's dead. Uh, oh, like, no. Yes, yeah, so you come running down the corner and you see its body get blasted it's, back. It's a good thing you didn't sacrifice your friend for this. <laughs> yeah, nothing is just. And then as you, as you continue that. to run down the staircase, you get to the point where you can see him, and Andrat looks up towards you, looks at the dragon. And then puts his hand out, and you see stone uh, seal up before between that, the two of you. I'm gonna throw a fireball at the wall. Uh, he counters. Here we go, fireball. Can he have to see me? Oh, you. So you you wait until it closes. Yeah, I'm trying to break the wall. Okay, like, so, shoot this stuff at him. Yeah, go ahead and roll roll your. Uh, to the wall. Roll attack. <laughs> if you wait until it's fully closed, and yeah, you get to you just roll damage. You hit the yeah. wall. So roll damage. Eighty-six. Uh, thirty-one damage. Nice. Thirty-one damage. Yeah, you see it just, and you can see cracks, and it breaks down. There's a small hole in between the two, and now he looks. He looks back towards you. Don't die, Brogs. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me see here. I'm going to cast. He does. He points a finger at you for a moment, and you can see like uh, a bit of black energy kind of course down his arm. And then he closes his fist and vanishes. Uh, I'm going to cast the invisibility. Okay. He is you. You can see that he's no longer there, but you do see at this point what looks to be a, a an invisible gateway, which you now recognize to be the remnants of a teleportation spell. Am I able to go through it? Maybe if you can cast teleport. I can't. Do I know that? He Make an was, arcana check for Becky. Do I know that he was supposed to be here? You never heard anybody talk about okay. Andra. Advantage? Yep. Oh, real good. Uh, what was the Arcana? Mm -hmm. 24. Go, I can take you. I run in. Nice. All right. As you, you run up through, you kind of reach Becky through the hole that you produce in the wall. And as she makes contact with that gate, you feel yourself pulled through. Boom. Add teleport to your spell book. What? And you find yourself in the throne room as you see Andorot appear before you. I thought you said you were going to tell him as you appear into the, into the throne room behind him. You need to stop him or I will. Who said this? As you, you kind of come through into the throne room and you hear this at this point. I'll handle it. Wait, what? He's holding a closed fist towards you, and you can see like shimmering wall between the two of you, between you and him. I said I would handle it. Uh, You'll forgive me if I don't trust hmm. that thing. Ooh. Uh, I take that he has counterspelled. There's nothing Wrong. I can really do. <laughs> Um, you actually take it more of some sort of like an arcane ward of some kind. Mm -hmm. He's he's got some sort of a shield up between uh, you and him. Do you mind if out of anger I roll on the wild magic? Hit it. I, feel like I mean, you can't take your time, Eric. Anyway. 
So, yeah. What's that? Take your time. <laughs> Take your time. I'm Justin's still really salty about the fireball, so he wants to let this play out. <laughs> well, this has like nothing to do really with the groove. This is more on a personal level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just in Eric's castle and Eric's standing in front of you. Hey, Rogs has done worse things. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I would like to chew. Uh, <laughs> I turned into a potted plant in front of him. <laughs> what? Uh, you, you turn into a potted plant until the start of your next turn oh, while I plant your incapacitated and up. vulnerability That's to all damage. I begin. Perfect. <laughs> if you drop to zero, you've only got six away. seconds. Andrew out teleports away. <laughs> That's freaking perfect. Yeah. yeah I'm a so we're going on a walk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For about uh, you know about six seconds or so, and he falls back into sure. into place. Kind of plant, oh, so kind of covered easy, in easy, kind easy. of covered oh, in oh, dirt oh, at this point. Oh, Is it a bonsai? What kind of plant? Uh -huh. uh, it's, he's, he's just a goblin now. Yeah. <laughs> Where was that filth at? Where is Let's it? go for a walk, and we'll talk about it. I want to walk. I want this man dead. I don't think you're gonna get that. At least not right now. Rocks. Let's walk. I'm following you, but I'm okay. just like enraged beyond belief. Yeah, Becky's going. like stream of cussing, yeah. just like oh, <laughs> Rocks, man, rip that guy's head off. It's very Show it up as stupid. Eric, did you know who was here? Because last I know, he yes. left after yes. you. Yes. Yes. What was he here for? We have a mage. He is auto mage. Hey, mage. I thought I told you I, I didn't want him here. I understand, and I chose otherwise. I walk away from Eric at this point. Uh, As he walks away, did I hear anything on this? You want to be, uh, you want to unite your people, Rogs, right? From Big Belly, save them. Uh, I don't know if I. Pick your interest. Like I think he's thing. too mad. Hmm. Well, Becky will go, wait. Hear him out. Yes. What of it? Sometimes if you want to be a king or leader, you have to be able to work with people you disagree with. You can provide services that none of us have access to can you not gain anything from that I don't, spells i don't wish to gain anything from that man that's fine that's fine then don't and it may not be in iran but if you want to be a leader if you want to be a king of your people you will 100 percent have to deal with people that do things differently than you would like. I thought I could trust you, Eric. But I don't think I can do this anymore. No. And I'll walk away. Oh, no. <laughs> About this time, you see Absalom round the corner. And uh, what you can tell looks to be a, a lithe, feminine figure cloaked up walking behind him. It's Taryn. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was fast. Hello. <laughs> I brought that oh. leather harness you wanted. <laughs> you know what I know, right? I hate you. <laughs> I've aged more in the last six months than I ever did in the world. Hmm. What's up? Oh, nothing. <laughs> I uh, did a little bit of traveling. Uh, befriended some sky pirates. Uh, Why? What? Yeah. Uh, First of all, you're befriending anyone. 
Ah, with Oh and you can hear from behind him. What's her name? Treya. Uh, Treya. This is uh, Treya. She's a friend of Rorix. I am Treyasin of the seven tribes of Mastika. This is King Eric. She pulls, she pulls her hood down and curtsies low, like more of a bow than a curtsy, but it's somewhere in between. It's, it seems like a foreign gesture a little bit. I forgive me. Um, it's been a long day. Um, my lady. I uh, I know formalities are just whatever. Kiss your hand. Whatever. Let's just get drinks. I'm just. I need that drink. sounds great. I just need a drink. Let's do that. I just, all right. Vrog just walked hey. out. Androts. I know you're going to be mad. So, uh, Andrade is uh, one of our mages, court mages. Why would you? Mm-hmm. Eh, we'll talk about it later. I can tell you're not in the mood, but is there a room for me? Yes, yeah. there is definitely. I would like to settle in if that is at all possible. Sure. Um, can I get like a read on this chick? Like, is she like you know, is she can it fight? Is she a fighter? Um, is she like at a, a glance? Maybe she looks tough. You don't know if she's ever been in a fight. You, you, you can't quite read that. Uh, no, I'll ask her. Okay. I'll probably ask her, like, yo, where'd you grow up? Like, what's what are you? Is she joining our team? Like, what's the the oh. seven tribes of Mastika had a prophecy that a queen would arise and unite them. I am that queen. Whoa, is Abby home? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna walk through the door. I'm gonna run up and give him a big hug. Abby! I fight for my people. What did you do, Tanner? I, get with I walked in the door and I was like, yo, Abby's home. And I came up and gave you a big hug. Yeah, Barbie. I have some awkward. Really? He has his hands on the side of his face. Like that one. It's one of those awkward, like, <laughs> yes, yeah. so much. Yeah, this is weird. <laughs> and I'm just going to hold on for a while. It's still happening. Um. Okay. And <laughs> uh, now I'll let go. What 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 can we do? <laughs> Silver thing. Is this a maybe a, a conversation best for private? Yeah. No, I thought we were best. Are we not? I mean, I wait till we're. You, she doesn't know who oh, just, this guy that just came up. She's, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. It's fine. Oh, she, I'm I'm sorry. I didn't mean to walk in on anything. Yeah, he's, uh, um, he's an emissary. I am Taryn. Emissary. Mm-hmm. I am Trezin of the Seven Tribes of Mastika. Okay. You may call me <laughs> Treya. Okay. I am Taryn of Silverfang Heath. Is there anything we can do? Not doing. <laughs> really? Is there anything we can do? Well, pleasure. <laughs> If I can be frank, I need a place to stay for a few months. Okay. And then I will go and claim my crown. But I will not forget the favor. Are you helping us? Or... Yeah. Yeah, Rorik asked me to keep her here. For How many are you want to help her claim her crown? I'll take her back that way, sure. You're in luck. We actually... We just finished securing a crown, so we're free to do another one. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Has anyone seen Absalom? Or has anyone seen Alton? Are you, um... <laughs> what, what kind of, you know, things can you do? 
Just getting ignored. Your magic. Or... <laughs> <laughs> um yeah and so I'll even like just, show her like yeah like this like, I mean, yeah so it's like a, a bit of a show she like her form shifts and she drops down to the form of a, a black panther wow holy what happened to a snake uh they just kind of dissolve to, into her form just kind of like uh like in a bit of a black mist kind of like rolls it's, off of her form and it happens again and she she stands back up very interesting. That a clothes reform? Yes. Yeah. You're not there, Alton. You're not. I can. <laughs> I've got imagination. <laughs> Between this realm and the realm of dreams. Wait, what? Well, you're welcome to stay here and. Um... Your kindness is appreciated. Just let me know if there's anything else we can do. I don't know. All right, and so she's she's kind of led away to her own private quarters at this point. Yeah, I'm sort of like, yo, you can crash in uh, bedroom three over there. I don't. Yeah. Um, and whatever one, else. One you of your uh, you one of your attendants at this point is like like a very motherly type dwarf. She's like, yeah. Wait, come with me, Charlie. Steph Slater. Hundred percent. No, she's part of the council. This is my inspiration. If that matters to anybody. Because oh, I know I did a crappy okay. job describing it, so I figured I'd just show you the picture. That's yeah, that's way more like okay, I got you. Yeah. No. Also, I'm sure that one cool. probably has her own picture copyrighted, so don't strike us. <laughs> I tried to just do the description. Flag sucked. <laughs> right, I just sucked at it. So. Um. Hmm. All right. What? Yeah. Well, just, just, what is that about? Uh, Adam. Hmm. Sweep into my thing that just happened. That yes. Big yeah. argument. Um, did I hear anything back from that group about? We'll say that's important. Yeah, we'll say that about um about this time you do have uh, one of them comes up to you a little bit tattered. Um, uh, it's just the one, just the one human comes back to you. He's like, uh, Master Brox. Sorry, I wanted to tell you right away. We just got back with word. We think we found him. In the, in the foothills of the Umlanderan Mountains, off to the east, there's a, a pretty big fortification of orcs, hobgoblins, bugbears. Pretty nasty place. We couldn't get close to it, but there's mention of their leader being called Big Belly, some sort of a monster that changes them. Brogs goes off after he hears that. All right. Like I'm heading there. <clears throat> like you're heading there to the Omondra Mountains? Yeah. Oh, dang. Okay. I just feel like it flows good because we just got in that big. Yeah. Um, yeah, so at this point, as you, like, you're starting to pack up your stuff, and as soon as you grab Becky again, she's like, Brogs, Brogs, what are you doing? I just feel like I'm I'm better off my own like I was before. I, I feel like I can't trust nobody right now besides you. Why do you feel like that? Because he didn't tell you everything? Yeah, that, that we're supposed to. We're supposed to be a family, right? Didn't Are we telling them everything? Okay, what are we talking about? I'm <laughs> <laughs> IRL, what are we talking about? <laughs> the secrets. Oh, my fault. Got you. Well, I, I, I have this, but I, I feel like they're not mine to tell. That's why I hold on to them. Okay, but the point is, you're not being completely honest with them. That doesn't mean that you don't want the best for them. In fact, I know you. I know that you keep the secrets to protect them. They might have a point. You have your reasons. And I don't know everything about that guy. But I know that it's, he cares about you. It's just hard because the first person other than a goblin that I trust. Everyone else I thought was out to kill me. That's why I hid myself from the world. And then he just betrayed my trust like that. 
um, just for Absalom's sake, um, after talking to Eric, he is going to say that he is going to go find, go talk to Rogs. Okay. Because it's like, he, he gets where he's coming from. Right. Yeah. Frogs, listen, if you want to go and try to take this guy, then I'm with you. You know that. But I also know that if you ask them, they would all go with you too. Have, I think that says something, right? Yeah, do I have a point? I'll, I'll give it the night. I'll sleep on it. See how I feel in the morning. We're definitely going to blow that guy up, though, right? I would hope so. What a douchebag. If only Absalom was bad. <laughs> About that time, me. Absalom. <laughs> oh, okay. Knock, knock, up, knock. Dude. Yes, dude. You track him down? Yeah, yeah. So where, where are you at? I'm in my room. I was getting my things together, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, so I come in. You probably okay. see my clothes and stuff. Um, as you come in, you so again, there's that exterior door, and then there's like this small opening, about yeah. five feet or whatever, and there's another door in front of you, and a staircase that leads down to your right. Coming up the staircase, you see um, Andorot. Oh, and I would have I would have picked up, went and gathered that dragon. It was gone. Oh, it just poofed. I was gone. It was gone? Oh, okay. That's, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> but speaking of which, Crabby. you see Andorot and he's holding, he's holding the body of that fairy dragon. Uh, the other pseudo, pseudo, pseudo dragon. I didn't know every time. he had that. Yeah, so he's holding that and he goes, oh. Um, I actually don't know anything about the Grimlock situation. Actually, maybe this is for the best. Here. Uh, Give this to your friend. He probably won't take it from me. Talking about frogs? Yeah. All right. All right. Don't know what to do with it. Uh, I kind of like look at like. Um, and he turns around <laughs> and like walks away. Uh, but and there's a you, scroll. There's he, a he, scroll on the back. I have some whispers under his bed. Wizards are freaking weird. <laughs> yeah. gonna, keep and so and you notice that, like it's the corpse of the the dragon. Yeah. Uh, there's like four different bottles of like odd components and a scroll that's all kind of wrapped up in together. Mm. Uh, disgusting. Come on. Keep going. And then, I gotta, uh, I, out of curiosity. Yeah. Does, Ad, does he respect me a little bit for even though he knows I'm weaker than him that I was trying to come at him? You don't know. I mean, this kind of seems like a sign of respect to me. I, don't know. I think the fact that you can cast magic means a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like the Dwarven Lady. Like, beyond yeah. everything that you cast, so meta, obviously Vrogs yeah. will never know this. Meta, beyond everything that you cast, the fact that you were able to follow through the teleportation, which is not a thing, that he was impressed by. Okay. And then I turned into a plant, which totally... <laughs> <laughs> it checks out. It's, it's on brand. It checks out. It's on brand, <laughs> baby. It's on brand. <laughs> That's All pretty right. awesome. That so, was yeah. like the coolest thing. That was thing. great. I it. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's so yeah. mad he turned it out. That was pretty amazing. <laughs> so Absalom knocks on your own. Uh, turn around. I, I think you probably would have heard some whispers or talking Definitely. of some sort. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, it's Rogues. Yeah. Hey, Rogues. It's, uh, it's me, Abs. How's it going? Absolutely. <laughs> I've, I've had better days. I'm workshopping it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure where to live. Uh, well, uh, uh, Andrew told me to give you this, and it's like the vials with the pseudo dragon. See a couple of he, like tears coming down Rogan's he, eyes because he, he says you know what to do with dragon. it. I don't know what that is, so I'll I'll look at it in a minute. Uh, Eric you, said you're having a hard time. Yeah, he's a I just get I, I just get super quiet when you mention his name. Yeah. Well, I understand you're not happy about uh, Andorot being here. I mean, are I made you? you I made you a promise. I help you out with him, but uh, this might be a good thing. You heard the saying, "Keep your enemies close." Yeah. With him being here, you know he's not messing with your friends anymore. 
That's true. He wasn't walking around with any feathers. They just sent him there off. Yeah. I mean, to me, this is an advantage. Yeah. You know where he's at? That's true. Catch him later. I just don't think Eric's going to approve what me and you are going to do eventually. I don't think Eric cared too much. I just... We just need to make sure... I just saw an opportunity, and I didn't know he was here. And it kind of made me irrational. Yeah. Yeah. Well... Well, I said, I, I mean, he's here. He's not a problem with us as of now. He'll okay. probably keep to himself. Say, now that we know where he's at, we know what to do when the time comes. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Did, did I make Eric mad? He's just tired. Okay. Did you see the gray hairs? <laughs> no, I, I didn't get that close. Oh. I'm falling asleep in my chair. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll just talk to him in the morning, maybe then. I probably said some things I probably didn't mean. To be honest, he can handle it. But I did hear back about Big Belly. Really? Yeah. What's uh? I, what's the weather? It's off into the northeast mountains. Uh, east. Um, say the northeast I think mountains. about from your perspective. The Omlundra Mountain, uh, more like the southeast. All right. The, the southeast mountains, the uh, Omlundra Don. You're familiar with the Omlundra Mountains. Okay. Omlundra. And uh, I guess he's heavily fortified with Omlundra other things they said he's there that's where i was getting ready to pack up and steal with myself but becky kind of said i was being irrational and told me to think about it and becky's right alton your uh your barony was actually just to the the place that you escaped from was just to the east of the laundry mountains oh okay i mean we could definitely uh this is this is kind of a priority for me i don't know where the rest of the group falls on it but well, I feel like you you come to be a priority for us. Uh, I I'm I also maybe found some clues about uh, the doctor, but um, maybe there's answers there as well. Maybe I'm waiting for uh, some sky pirates to return my favor. I guess. Uh, question though too: Would I come to terms as this time with Rim? Like, would it take a lot for like a bigger being to take control of a large group of goblins. Okay. Um, no. No. Honestly, okay. like it depends on how you mean. Like to control multiple minds, yeah, that'd be a big deal. To control multiple goblins through fear, easy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, just multiple pretty goblins through fear. Yeah, that's pretty much what I was getting at. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna sleep on it, get in a better mood. I'm a little, little jazzed up at the moment. So your, your kingdom's about four months old at this point. Yeah. Um, so do you guys... We, we need to come up with a game plan, though, to take care of this guy. Yeah. Do you care if I uh, stay here tonight? I uh, don't have a room. No, that's fine. That I know of. Fine, you can take the bed. I don't even sleep in that thing anyway. So. What's it look like? It's stinky. I've never, uh, I've never used it's it. Probably pristine. Uh, okay. It is okay. pristine, okay. actually. Um, and you you notice this through the and actually you as you're like yeah I've never you you kind of look over towards it and the the room itself actually does look a little bit different. You're not 100 percent sure about what it is exactly, but it looks a little bit different. Um, and you again you can't quite place it, but everything does look pristine. The bed does look pristine. Can. Can I say something to Absalom about that and have sure. him investigate it? Sure. Uh, Absalom, something's different here. Can you look around? Looks the same to me. You've <laughs> never been there. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. All right, I'm going to look around, I guess. Okay. Um, you don't have to roll for this. Okay. You. Uh, actually, take that back. You roll for me. Can I kind of explain to you what the room kind of looked like before you got there? 24. Uh, 24. You can't place it. You, you don't know. You, you don't even get the same sensation. You're like, 
I don't, I don't know. It looks pretty wizardy, but yeah. normal wizardy. I don't really. Without being, uh, I'm not quite sure what you mean, but uh, okay. it, it just kind of looks. You can make an odd. investigation check, mm-hmm. if you like. I'd like to. Do I get an advantage since it's my room? Um, I will. Yes, actually, if you switch through. it over to Arcana, I'll okay. allow you to roll. I'll just throw the goggles on again. Uh, 17? Um, a 17. It takes you a minute. Did you, you roll with advantage? Yeah. Okay. I got a 12, but I have a plus five arc, you know? Okay, so you, it takes you a minute, but you realize that it looks slightly bigger than it did before. Is that, is that something my uh, Phil guy did? No. No? He helped I, you kind I, of craft it in the way that it was, but I mean, it, its shape was what it was. Okay. Yeah. So that's a that's a new development. I'm probably gonna look into that at yeah. some point. Okay. But um, as Absalom takes his rest or whatever, I'm gonna go through the scroll and see what that is. All right. And so there's a note inside, um, pretty quickly written. You can tell, um, nothing too crazy. It just says, "Good work." I know you don't like me. I don't have to like you either. We can still work together. Sorry about your pet. You flip it over and it's a series of instructions. And it's like, it's an advanced version of Find Familiar that allows you to bind the spirit of a creature. Okay. All right, I quickly start working on that because I don't know how long that Right. Absolutely. Um, so go ahead and just uh, make a go ahead and roll your check, and then add your spell attack modifier to it. Is it my arcana? Um, yeah, you can. Do, yeah, go ahead and do that. Just make your arcana check. I'm gonna go to sleep. Twenty. Don't Dirty. blow me up. Dirty twenty. <clears throat> All right. And so now this creature is officially a fine and familiar pet for you. Okay. I know he can't like like communicate, communicate. Mm-hmm. He can just understand, but I just. Don't make a check. Rogs tells him I'm. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry for throwing you into the fire like that. It won't happen again. He just kind of like cocks its head at you. And then I crawl up in my bags in the corner and go to sleep. Okay. All right. So I didn't even make a check for my sleep? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's why I asked. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 10. 10? Yeah, you're okay. Mm-hmm. You're fine. Uh, you do hear, like, he wakes you up a couple of times in the night, and you're kind of, like, startled for a moment, and you can hear him just kind of, like, rustling around, and uh, uh, can I, he says something under his breath. You don't can, quite catch it. I want to go up to him. It's a spell. Fireball. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Point blank. He's got some demonic spirit in him. Kill him. Click, click, boom. <laughs> he just casts his... Uh, cast uh, I'm going to cast uh, a new spell. Uh, detect thoughts. Mm. You can read the thoughts of certain creatures when you cast the spell as your action on each turn until the spell ends. You can focus your mind on any one creature that you can see within 30 feet. If a creature you choose has an intelligence three or lower or doesn't speak, the creature is unaffected. Uh, you initially <laughs> learn the surface thoughts of the creature, what is most on its mind in that moment. As an action, you can either shift your attention to another creature's thoughts, attempt to probe deeper into the the same creature's mind. If you probe deep, deeper, the target must make a wisdom saving throw. If it fails, you gain insight into the, its reasoning, its emotional state, and something that looms large in its mind. All right. So there's a big book on this. Right. Yeah. I know. Right. Yeah. So your initial is panic, which you're not really surprised by. He was having some sort of a nightmare. Um, and then you have to roll to see if you can probe deeper. I have to make a saving throw. Yes, you have to make the saving throw. Should I do it? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Right That's now. my against my spell save, save, right? Your spell 15. save. Yeah, I gotta find that. Where is that on the? This is your wizard spell, right? Your wizard spell level. Yeah. Well, what's your? Where's your? Where's your? What's your? On here? What's your modifier? My modifier? Yeah. For charisma? No. Yeah, it would be his charisma, wouldn't it? Not if it's a wizard spell. Oh, it's a wizard spell? Intelligence. Intelligence? Yeah. Not as good. Uh, would it be proficient on top of that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, because uh, my just my intelligence is uh, a plus three, but my proficiency would be another plus three. So it'd be six. Oh, so six plus eight, so 14. I, I, yeah, I got 13. Okay. Okay, so you, um, you begin to like 
pull yourself deeper into his mind and you find you find yourself kind of trailing behind what looks to be a little boy. Dark brown hair, you immediately, based on the way that you're locked in his perspective, almost third person from him, but as he turns his head, you turn with him. And so you kind of pan like this, you immediately realize that this is Absalom, but he's a boy. And he's running through the halls he's a girl. of this large manor house. And he's screaming over and over again as he peers in through every room. Hannah! Hannah! I'm going to keep an eye out for, like, visual details I can, like, remember. Okay. Um, and he's, he's running through, and as he runs past one doorway, you see a woman covered in blood lying on a bed. Runs past, doesn't stop. Continues through. And finally, he comes up to a door at the end of the hallway, and he grabs the doorknob, and you can hear a faint muffling on the other side, the screaming of what sounds like a little girl. The door's locked. He can't get it open. He's jamming so hard at the door, struggling. <laughs> Hannah! Hannah, no! And you can hear someone, another, like a deeper male voice that says, I told you once, you shut up, you little... And you hear an impact of a fist. Question. Yeah. While in this, because I'm like in his mind right now, right? Am I able to cast clairvoyance on the other side of the door? No. Okay. Switch. <laughs> and then it resets. Oh, it's just a loop. And he finds himself outside the main door and he opens the door and immediately you feel the sense of dread kind of sweep over. Hannah? Can I kind of reach out and grab his shoulder and kind of comfort him? You pass right through it. And this goes on and on oh, geez. all night. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to eventually let go of that and go to sleep, but I want to have a conversation about that. Okay. In the morning, you guys, as you regularly do, you all reconvene at the start of the day for breakfast. Um, in, in the castle, uh, maybe even in the throne room type area, what, what is your... What's your poison on that, Eric? What's that? Or do you want to have like a, like a meal hall aside from that? Oh, aside from like the throne room? Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. Okay. So you guys all meet in the, the dining hall area. Do you care for like, what was your name? Trina? Trina. 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 And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to meet yeah. up with Eric before we sit down or whatever to eat. So. Okay. Um. Eric? Yes, Franz. I think I said some things last night that I didn't mean. I was very angry last night. Um, it's okay. I had time to talk to Becky and Absalom. They both gave me their sides and gave me good counsel. So I just, I wanted to apologize. I understood why you did it. I don't like it but I can live with it. But I'm sorry too. Is, it at a, is, is he around anywhere? No. This is more just like, um, this isn't like the council or anything. This is just the skeleton crew. Right, cool. but, so we're all here, right? Mm -hmm. Plus one. There is going to come a time where it's going to be him or me. Fair? Don't look at that message, Danny. Oh, okay. And I'm going to talk to Absalom eventually at some point. I, I don't want to take up the whole thing. Real quick, Ross. Do you know who I'll choose? <laughs> um, can I roll inside on that? Wait, I'm sorry. I was distracted. Oh, he said, Ross, do you know who I'll choose? Uh, yeah, you can roll inside. Go ahead and roll inside. Just because this time, I, I mean, I'm still kind of like, He's like untrustworthy <laughs> about it. Oh, God. Uh, I rolled a, uh, a nine. You are uncertain. Okay. Who would you choose? You. I'd hope so. I'm equivocally you. Okay. I'd hope so. I appreciate that. So we are we good now? Yes, we're great. I'm Mike this time. 
Okay, so I'm going to go sit down next to Absalom. If anyone else wants to do something, I'm going to take it like Yeah. You want to? We'll call it square at eleven. Is that fine? Is that okay to do? Another thirty minutes. Okay. So as you guys sit down to breakfast, Alton oh, comes in, dude. and uh, he's carrying a very large mug of coffee, and in his ear he has uh, something that looks like one of those like, like Bluetooth headsets that everybody wore like ten years ago. Is it a sitting stone? <laughs> Yeah, uh, it is actually a yeah. system, but it's been specially modified. <laughs> and too. so I come to the awesome. breakfast hall and I'm like, I told you, I don't care how many uh, how many hours it takes. He's going to work extra tonight because we got to make sure this brew is done. All right. Cheers, love. And then I touch something to it. <laughs> hey, boys. And then I take a swig of my coffee and sit down. Are you in a nice business suit? Uh, no, but I have I've have, like rolled up the sleeves and I actually yeah. noticed that I bought cufflinks that I put onto uh, under my robes. Uh, sit down. Uh, cheers, boys. Uh, how are things going? You're doing an incredible job. I look at Absalom. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. I look at Absalom. Thanks. I'm, I'm going to be like, a lot. I, th- I think he's trying to look like me. Yep. Very, very <laughs> handsome. <laughs> well, listen, I've only got uh, just a couple minutes before I go go and check on a new batch. But uh... yeah. Are you trying to look like Brock? You said, yeah, I'm ready to look like I mean, you know, and Brock like, finds himself very handsome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have to I talk to this. Him. What do you think, Becky? I think he's trying to look like me. He's trying something. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying <laughs> something. <laughs> Stupid sucker. Is, is Alton <laughs> turning Becky on? Uh, bros, uh, let me check. And uh, I pull out. Yeah. I pull out a little scroll from my pocket Your and you notice that it, it glows faintly oh. and I kind of like touch around on it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, uh, I'll be in bro. It, says, uh, blue, it says blueberry on the side. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, once you get off your scroll machine and uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll probably be in bro uh, sometime putting it in a month. Why? I just want to know if you're going to, I don't know, ask a certain person uh, on a date. And I like immediately roll up my blueberry. Uh, has to be a Duke, Eric. Uh, uh, he's, she's, by the way, the Duchess has stopped in a couple of times. Um, that uh, the Baron has stopped in. Uh, a few Barons have stopped in a couple of times. A couple of Lords from like a little bit farther away have, have stopped in. Like the, you've had some of those black. a little bit more professional callers. Did they bring any gifts? Yeah. The- can one of them have been black? Absolutely, sure. You're I close enough to, to Amon, so one of the we'll say one of the to, emissaries I from want Amon. To establish our own. I'm going to move past this. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. On what this I soul. want to establish our own cool handshake, dude. Yeah, you need a, you need a black guy for it. <laughs> That's what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And move it on. <laughs> That's legit. Well, we're going we're gonna to get kicked uh, off of Twitch for sure. Sorry, Twitch. Hey, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. You should be one of those cool urban handshakes you guys do. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm trying to get us fired off Twitch, please. <laughs> yeah. What, what was that? Uh, what was that boy's name again? The um, Aaron. Aaron? Mm-hmm. Hey. Aaron. Aaron. Yep. He's in, his suit. he's in his You got it. Time. Thanks. And, like runs Richie, off Richie, and, and then I turn and look back at you. You know, I was thinking, uh, if Is I that your son? <laughs> no, he's just, don't worry about it. Uh, I was thinking, if I go to Bros, it wouldn't hurt nothing to uh, say something, you know, see what she's up to. I mean, I'm a, you know, uh, professional and whatnot. Uh, I see, that's the problem. I don't know if you're serious now. What do you mean? You see these? And I'm putting my cup like. <laughs> okay. What, yeah. What's happening around here? <laughs> I, I don't know what Eric's saying, but the door flies around. open and in comes a very uh, orderly dwarf, like walking, but like the most powerful power walk you've ever seen. Just like shuffle, 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 <laughs> like straight square across. <laughs> Almost like a, a bead of sweat kind of coming down uh, like the side of his brow. He dabs it with a, a handkerchief and he comes up to you very, very tidy and clean, short spectacles. Um, and you you recognize this this dwarf. He's, uh, he's one of the top of the assistants. Like he's very high up in your chain. 
of command. And he, he comes up to you, he's like, oh, Your Majesty, I hate to uh, interrupt what you're doing here, but you've got two callers that have shown up and announced. Are they female? That. One of them is. Permission to continue. Uh, uh, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't mean to interrupt. All right, so um, we didn't know. We didn't know. She didn't send any word. Um, oh, dear Lord, who is it? Yeah, who is that? The Queen. The Queen. The Queen. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, she requested a private room. Um, yeah, so I do. We oh, God. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I'm out. The, the other is a Lord uh, uh, Drake Mindell. He's in the <laughs> throne room. He's he's like I don't care. As I think Do you there, want us to talk to Eric. Drake, Eric? Absolutely, I'm going to talk to you anyway about something. Boys, boys. Oh, hold on, hold on, Eric. Boys, you happening? Yeah. I'm going to leave my familiar. I need a second. I got to run yeah, in, in the dining wherever hall. he's going to talk. Yeah, I got my room. You go to your room? Yeah. Okay. It's up to 100 feet. I'm going to lean over to some of the servants that are around and be like, the king is going to need his best garb delivered to his room and maybe a couple people to help him look, you know, a little less disheveled. All right. Yeah, we, we're All right on that. Right. And a couple uh, yeah, bottles you see, uh, uh, your finest wine. I might pull in my stuff. Do you need anything? Do you would you like us to prepare any clothes or food or drink or or anything, sir? No, I'm actually just like pouring a drink. Huge smile right. on my face. Right, right, right. So we we do um, we assume that you're going to go and speak to the, the queen first. What would you like us to do with uh, Lord Drake Mindal? I think Carmack will talk to him. Yes, um, that's fine. <laughs> I go to the. All right. Alton, you recognize the name. That sounds uh, familiar. Oh, oh, oh. You sound familiar to you? You know who this To me? <laughs> Drake Mendrell? You guys sound familiar to Absalom? I was a kid, man. I don't know anything about that stuff. Uh, but you, as soon as they whoo! first say the name, you feel a cold sweat break yeah. out of your forehead. Excellent. Oh, give it to you. All right, Eric, what are you doing? I'm running to the room. Okay. Do I see him sweating? Uh, I go. Mm, perception check disadvantage. As Is it? He's quiet. He's loud. So all the attention goes towards Eric. One of these are talking. Question. Question. Is she the only one in the room? Uh, there's a six. Stand by one. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm gonna go. Uh, Rosha, cancel my ten for a beast. And you're touching. You're touching the wrong ear. Just got a freaking ear piece. So you. Full tech, dude. He's you, you walk up to the room and you All do things. see uh, two guards standing just outside of the library. Outside of the library. Mm -hmm. Not, Not your guards, room. her guards. Right. Not in the library. They are outside. <clears throat> She's inside. guarding the door. <laughs> Yo, you better have your crown on, dude. Wish me luck. And I'm I'm gonna hide there. if there's even a no, chance. No, no. I say it to the guards. Okay. To the I say to the guards, <laughs> dude. Your voice um, nervous is not. Yeah. Do you do you allow the <laughs> the pseudo dragon to follow? He just you? kind of flies on, perches on your shoulder. Perception check if I notice he's there. Okay. He's Down. on your shoulder. I'm a little bit. <laughs> yeah, well, your voice. <laughs> he's also wearing arm. Disadvantage. Damn. Uh, probably not. <laughs> He's chilling on me, dude. I don't have no if idea. You, can see the... you need like a plus 16 or anything. Try to grab out to work. And I want to be more specific about something, Adam. Oh. I'm in my arm. Like, I'm not I'm, in like that. Kind of still. 
trying to work that thrust back. So, so yeah, he just kind of lands and kind of curls so here's in. The thing. I stop right, right, right in front of the door. You see, like one of the guards, like glance towards you. I just go, wish me luck, boys. They're not even people I know. Right. You've Your boy is nervous. You, honestly, you can't even tell I'm a like, what gender boy. or race or anything that these I'm people are. I can't even see these cats. Right. I don't even know they're existing. Are you, you meeting see, like, them where they are right now, like inviting them into the room that we're in? Gonna... No. You no. guys are in the dining area, and then he left and went to his room, and then now he's made his way to the library where she is currently. And I just... The, I, there's they're two... both here? Wait, I'm confused. Yeah. He's they... with her. No. No, 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 no. The Lord is Two not. They left came. him in the throne room. She requested a private room. But the we're, Lord is in the throne room. We're in the dining room. Yes. Okay, I got to stay within 100 feet of him to do what I want to do, by the way. Okay, then, yeah, you, would have, the you would have lost it. Although, right. I would have. You can no longer be. You, you don't have that telepathic link immediately. Okay. Well, I would have tried to. I want to. Oh, you're going to move that way? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, then I'm going to sit off to the side and I'm just going to, like, my eyes are going to turn wide and I'm going to. Here, you just kind of like sit down, like next yeah. to like it's like a decorative statue, yeah, or yeah. So, open the door, yeah. So I'm just like, wish me luck. Do I know that we're from the same place yet? Uh, I'm a 16 year old, you're kid not right from now. the same I'm place, just... but we're after the same person, right? Maybe, maybe straight up, right. yeah. Sorry. Stomach full of quick, other quick ones. summary for anybody that's confused. This is understandable. Absalom is, you know this, he's from Valen, which okay. is on the, if you look on it's your on map here. The world. Yes, he's on the far <gasps> west coast. Right. Right here. You are from the, just east of the Omlander Mountains. Okay. Out here. Right. Right. The, and this, I'm just basing this on what you have put together and I've heard from you. I'm not verifying or denying its truth, but this is what you have come to the conclusion of. The man that he calls the doctor, you called the necromancer. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. The doctor helped yeah, mold that. him I psychologically and physically. I would have known some things. Right. The necromancer did what he did in your case. Oh, right. And you do not you you've come to the conclusion you know based on evidence that you've located that the doctor worked for someone at that time many years pass yes many years pass right. and the necromancer worked for father right Men and we've question. we've had the some of those conversations right? yes yeah, you that's that, that is just what you that's have said exactly, yeah, yeah. okay that's what i've is, heard you guys say so then i'm gonna come to you is as he goes to leave is the necromancer like Frankenstein at all? <laughs> Hard to say. <laughs> e yep. <laughs> Opens the door. Yeah, I, I walk in. So he scanned the room. 16 year old dude, full of butterflies, dude. You boys just briefly. Like... You see four more guards <laughs> in full armor. <laughs> Um, yeah. Magnificent looking armor, too, by the way. The very best. <laughs> 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 Tremendous armor, the best armor. Right. I don't even but, dude, their, their armor is junk. Right. You see that, story. and then you see a woman with her back to you. You can tell immediately. Oh, no, She's dude. in very, very fine gown on herself. You can tell by the weight of it that, they're, that it's probably lined in some sort of a sure. fine elven crafted armor. You can see a her golden sandy blonde hair braided down her back with the the crown on her head, a sword at her side, gleaming and uh, platinum and gems, and she appears insane. to be casually reading a book. Yeah, I walk up to. Her. She closes a book as you kind of approach. She turns around. She does a curtsy, low, very. You, you look amazing. How very, um, how far away is Eric? Ridiculous. Um, I mean, he, he's like wound through the the castle. It's it's hard to say exactly. Okay. Your Majesty. No. no. Congratulations yes. on your. Achievements. Thank you. You look amazing, by the way. 
Yes, you said that. Can I say retcon? I want Sorry. to have followed him. I don't want to go in the room, but I want to follow him to the room that he's going to. Okay. Just, just in case that the, is important. The, the words in the yes, you said that. Sorry. How, how are you? Very well. And it looks like you've done well as well. Good use of your time, I see. It's never my strong suit. Better. You've been busy, I see. Yes. It's very good. It's very good. Uh, is everything all right? Make an insight check. Can I make an insight check? Super good. Yeah. I'll say you can make it with advantage, actually. Nat 20. Oh. Yeah, you both get the sense that she is very, very well maintained, incredibly well maintained. Um, and actually, she got that WAP. Just read your spell to me, real quick. The one that you're using, this fine familiar spell. Yeah. Before I mention this, I need to I need to check this out because I don't know that you can see her. Okay, so while they're doing all this, yes. as he was getting ready to leave, I came up to you and I'm like, the one you was after is a pawn. I'd you like to take the queen? What? There we go. The one you're after. Yeah. His boss is here. I think it's a chess metaphor. Okay. How do you know it's you? It's a long story. Okay. Uh, while the you're Who's familiar it? with them, a hundred feet. I, I sorry, I saw, I spoke to you. You did. But yeah, you said. Who's he at? Uh, I guess in the front room. Let's go check it out. <clears throat> I need to play really. All right, I can talk to him if you want. Me and Carmack are already headed that way, don't forget. We need to do it. And basically, as soon as I say that to you. Okay, yeah. roll it. Yeah. Um, okay, so odd phenomenon. As you look around the room telepathically, that's the connection that is an issue. You have a telepathic magical bond to him right now. Looking around the room, you can see everything except for her. She is a solid blur to you. Would I have been able to hear her voice? It's garbled and you can't make it out. She's protected. Okay. She's protected. She's got a crazy crown probably like he does. But you, based on this, you've seen this look before. Yeah. I she's have. incredibly controlled. Incredibly controlled. Way more than you've ever seen, in fact. But she is ticked. She is furious, seething beneath the surface. I'm, I'm gonna have. She's letting it slip enough to let you know. Don't try anything. She's not happy with you. It's like that thing where um, your wife's mad at you and you have no idea why, but since she's I can't mad. see anything, I'm gonna have my familiar flip into that pocket dimension. Okay. I summon them back by me. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah. And I probably would have done it in a way to where. He's not going to get uh, Eric in trouble. So I probably would have had him fly off. So, what was your last question to her? I said something. Is, is everything okay? Yeah. Or like, are, are you okay? Yeah, you're all right. Yes, I'm fine. A bit of a long journey, but nothing I couldn't handle. You know, distance wasn't so great. So, um, down to business, I suppose. We have approved your claim to your throne. It is well documented within the walls of the Tetherian Kingdom in Derama. And I just wanted to congratulate you in person. I hope that our kingdoms can work well together in the future. 
as do I. Um, why did you never return my letters? Here we go. What? I wrote, I wrote to you. For you wrote to me. For years, I wrote to you. Years. I believe you've stolen my words. I wrote to you for years and never received a single reply. Never a visit, never so much as a raven. I um I'll do something out of some this. Not only did I write you letters for years, I also bought a piece of land. Farmland. All right. For us. Or after, and you have to forgive my snooping. But we found these, and she pulls off of the bookshelf the stack of letters that she wrote to you. So you received mine. And never received anything from you. She throws them down to the ground. Why did you give up? It felt like I had lost. Did I not lose? Not until you quit the game. They would never let it happen. Could they stop me? Could anyone? Do you think you could right now? No. No. You know, I watched you as well. Perks of the crown. I watched you retire to that plot of land and try farming. I watched you give up on that as well. Well, I didn't clearly give up completely. I'm trying. This? Yeah. Do explain. Because I've watched you move from venture to venture, quitting after everyone I watched you sack castles, Eric, Iron Saint. I watched you do things that no other man could do. We went to the Feywild. That takes me back. When did you develop this masterful skill of giving up? I, <laughs> I understand them. <laughs> if I die, <laughs> I'd love to not have an audience. Dinner tonight, perhaps? Stop. Stop. These men and women are deaf if I command it. Okay. I want to tell you, but I don't think it's you'll believe me. How I got these letters. You know how you know how long ago I got these letters? A week ago. A week.
Now, I'm going to explain. I've seen many crazy things. Okay. Do you do you remember the? We'll say for the sake of time that you begin to yes. explain all that you care to yes. explain. Make a persuasion check. With advantage. No. Because uh, she's best, mad. Not my best work. Hey, Lance, you have that. Uh, you have that advantage. <laughs> the other side of the castle. <laughs> inspiration. Yeah. I don't think anybody has any inspiration. Oh, you didn't give it to him. I've got. I've I... got a bunch of luck. Well, I've got some leftover inspiration that I've never used. So, no, Lance. I, yeah, that was from your boy. That was like from. Don't give it to him, Lance. <laughs> Bail me out. <laughs> Otherwise, that it's the end of the beginning of the session. Let let the woman stay. The, right. the lady of the trees made up her mind. Let him let him deal with the punishment. <laughs> we All know right, what happened. Right. <laughs> so. You, to get this straight, you are accusing one of my advisors of intentionally keeping our letters apart for yes. the years that we wrote back and forth. Yes. 100%. And you only found this out when you sought the aid of a witch who lives in a tree. And I told you right now. I'm not finished. And so you made a deal with her to trade information for these letters. What did you trade? The memory of a friend. All right, dinner. I have much to think about. Thank you for your hospitality, Your Majesty. And she walks out. I want to grab uh, all of the guards at this point. And I do want to still say, you look amazing. And then just like, you as well. And then she walks out. <laughs> Right. I still right. got it, boys. I still this got it, boys. Really <laughs> I yeah, I yeah. really enjoy watching Mike flirt with Adam. I don't think you can talk. About <laughs> I don't think you can talk. About Why? Because he talked to me, and I took off my mask and I changed shape, and I ran that way. Well, no. Yes, that's true. That's and so, yep. as you, 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 my description is hilarious. Oh, yeah, hit me with it. So I'm oh, a human. human. Where human? would you have gone? Though? I'm a dark and tan human. Yeah. Um, I have a jewel that replaces in place of one eye. I have a long pointed yeah. nose and I have skills we'll keep those. Oh, geez. Um, <laughs> what do you and do? so, uh, Trey is like, jewel plus an eye. Should I go with you or should we? The... Um, and so she gets up and she follows with you as well. So, as he runs out, I'm yep. going to turn and look. Are any of the, are there like any interns mm -hmm. in here? Attendants, yeah, there are several attendants. Hey, come here. Uh, give me a clubs, <laughs> and I'm gonna like. It's and it's a dwarven man. He's like, <laughs> whatever, it's fine. And right, though, yes, um, so I just want like his outer jacket. I'll yeah. give it back, I promise. And I take it and pull it over and like okay. hunker down as much as I could, and right. then I go to wherever. He so the, the five of you make your way into the throne room. Uh, Taryn and um, geez, Taryn and Carmack, you guys enter the throne room first. And as you enter, you can see several people standing about. Um, in just kind of like looking about kind of talking to each other and you can see this the first two people you see are pretty big actually um and kind of almost like hulkishly proportioned like very broad shouldered very tall and wide long arms and kind of uh and they have they do have cloaks on but it's unmistakable these guys are huge and beefy and you see two of them you, you see a couple more that are um more stately looking, a young man and a young woman, you see another person who, as soon as you enter, turns back and looks towards you and has a porcelain mask on that covers their entire face and then a hood that kind of comes up over it. And then the last person you see is a human man with salt and pepper hair, uh, 
closely cut to the side and kind of pulled back. Uh, it is like short and kind of quaffed. He's got a, a fine, uh, finely trimmed, like perfectly immaculately groomed beard, very fine looking clothes. He has a staff with what looks to be some sort of an animal or figure head on the very end of it and some sort of gems in the like set into the face of the, the animal. And they all kind of turn back towards you. Ah. Greetings, I am Lord Drake Mendal of the Omlandran district of the kingdom of Tethia. I was told we would meet the king, am I mistaken? Am I, am uh, I in there? No. Okay. You're close to Aaron. Is this going down? This is going down. Why? Same time. Uh, yeah, this is all yeah, the same, same time. time. Yeah. What, your, I, your highness. It's Avalon. Yes. Avalon's there. Yep. Omlandran oh, mountains. Oh, yeah. Rings a bell. Yeah. So yeah, you guys come yeah, in with the queen. You guys come in after uh, Taryn and Carmack. So actually, you missed him say the Omlander Mountains and all that. Uh, but yeah, Carmack and Taryn, you hear him say, "Am I mistaken? Will the king not rejoice?" Your Majesty, uh, we are uh, a welcome crew. Drake. Drake. Yes, uh, I'm Taryn. This is Carmack. Uh, the king actually had two guests arrive at the same time and is momentarily uh, detained with the other guests. We are simply here to be of service to you as you wait for his arrival. Wonderful, wonderful. I, I Rumors of the kingdom have made their way to my barony. I was actually looking forward to seeing the place, the construction, and some of the visitors. And where exactly is your kingdom from? Just to the east, the far eastern side of Tethir, just east of the Umlandran Mountains. Are you familiar with them? Uh, am I? Nope. Did I hear that? Nope. Uh, yes, you were. No, in you'll. I've you'll have to forgive me. <laughs> You'll have to forgive my ignorance. Uh, we're kind of new to the whole kingdom council thing. Um, I'm not, not familiar a, with that area. Not to worry. Like, uh, we are the eastern border of the kingdom. I'll be like, I've never been quite that far east. I have been quite up and down um, throughout Tithir. Um, on previous uh, woodworking guild business, um, but I mean, is it is it nice there at least? Barely. It is. Um, some call it the misty district, as the uh, as the warm and cooler climates combine to the far east. We do have uh, more mist than rain, in fact. But it does have a certain amount of beauty. Can I even view aura on him? Sure. I get an okay. Uh, so I learned if he is. Hey guys. And then uh, make a You want to enter this room? No. Okay. I am waiting outside of where he was with the queen until he comes out, and I'm going to grab Eric before he goes to the throne room. Okay. Uh, so I learn if he's any uh, under any magical or psionic effects, um, his hit point total and his emotional state. Um, he is under. Well, and we'll say that you. You're yeah okay. So he is under some sort of protection against mind altering effects. Okay. Um, and so you get the idea that you could not probe deeper, you could not detect thoughts, anything like that. You do gain the fact that he has 95 hit points and he is very calm and he has um, like, like a cat playing with a mouse. He has an end game. Like an air of deception. Yeah. Yeah. Can you inside Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, inside 17. 17. Um, very difficult to read. What's he the, is very well controlled. What's the Lord's last name again? Mindal. Mindal. Okay. 
Can I get a read on? Can I use? I want to use it one more time on the person with porcelain with the porcelain face, the mask. Okay. It fails. <laughs> okay. All these people are they? Do they look like well armed? Those people are. Uh, they're well dressed. Um, the the two big guys are pretty heavily cloaked. Um, the two the two very handsome young man, very handsome young woman. They are armed. They both have swords. Um, the person in the porcelain mask and heavy robes, you don't see having uh, any visible weapons. Uh, then you, you do see like a small ceremonial type dagger, like very ornate at their belt. But um, even the only, the only part of them that is exposed, they have gloved hands. The porcelain mask is like cloth all the way up to it. So the only thing that you can even see would be through the eye holes of the porcelain mask, but it's just darkness inside. I want to eventually make my way to there. Okay. Can I tell? Um, I'm trying to find Absalom. So, are any of them eyeing like uh, specific people? I guess is like they they have all turned towards all of you, and they they're kind of gathered around him, and what you could tell could be a defensive stance if needed, okay. but not necessarily a defensive stance right out of the gate. It's gonna be kind of like, like bodyguards that don't sense a threat. Right. Do they give off like the same? Yeah. Sense okay. Yes, is that, is that like, um, yeah, Conrad, like when we fought him, I mean, Conrad that, was a psycho. That emanating. Okay. They do not is, immediately is, okay. strike you as a psycho. Okay. Like, they, they don't seem psychotic. I was wondering if they were they're like, they're not like, haha, we're going to kill you mm -hmm. and eat your face. Yeah, his brothers and sisters <laughs> or whatever. So I was kind of thinking that. Okay. Oh, yeah, because we're still looking out for the rest of his fam, aren't we? Hmm. Yeah. Is there anything we can get you while we wait? Well, it has been quite a journey. I would uh, not say no to some of the fine, what is it, ale that you make here? I say, uh, I was like, man, this is some really cold air in here. <laughs> See if it gets any, do I get any reaction of like words? Like, it's like, yeah. wouldn't you say, Vincent? <clears throat> <laughs> what? what? What are you going to make an check? About? I'm like, uh, who's Vincent? <laughs> 17. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be any reaction. and But they do kind of like look around, or like at least uh, Lord Mandel, who's kind of like walked to the front of the to the group now. Um, and he looks around to see which of you is going to respond to the name Vincent. Does Rogs walk in at this moment? Sure. Did I hear well, him say that? Uh, yeah, but you have no context. You just hear him go, hey, Vincent. I just hear, hey guys, walk in. Uh, yes, I'm, why don't we? I'm hoping they assume I'm Vincent, but <laughs> I just kind of. Yeah. Why don't we uh, take you to the dining hall, get you something to eat, and maybe uh, some ale from a local brewery? Are any of them distraught that I'm a goblin? You don't see any reaction. Okay, because I'm not like hiding myself. So. I just like how these guys have all accepted me as their own, except they don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you do at this point notice that like now that the, the two big guys have turned around that they do have like a cloth mask that kind of drapes over the bottom half of their face. Um, and like very prominent, like prominent brows, like eyebrows, you know what I mean? Like almost like uh, not quite like as bad as like a Neanderthal, but like very prominent eyebrow bridge and like intense eyes. And the cloaks are drawn closed over over them. Okay. Has, has anybody seen Absalom? No. Uh, Brogs, have you seen Alton? No, I haven't seen him either. Do I get a We need to get some Make drinks from his brewery. Maybe. Uh, maybe we can have some of the servants go fetch them. Maybe. I think okay. Okay. Eric might be on his way, though. He's... Uh, he finished his conversation. My passive insight's higher than that. Okay, well. So you do not gain anything from it. Okay. Um, I want to lead them to the dining hall. Because me and Carmack don't know anything about them being shady. Right. Taryn, make right. a wisdom saving throw. Okay. I actually have advantage on this because of my aura. Uh, 
wisdom save. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's actually pretty good. 22. Or no, 20. Correct. Yeah, 22. Okay. Um, I'm going to have my pseudo dragon use his king sense and try to smell out Absalom. Okay, you bring him back. Uh, yes. Yeah, so well, I popped him back after mm -hmm. I took him out of the room or whatever. Do I sense that anything just tried to happen to me? Nope. Good. All right. Perfect. It's a perception, right? Yeah. So that's going to be a twenty-one. A twenty-one. Yeah. Uh, you see him like fly over to this new stranger with the ruby eye and sit up on his shoulder. I'm not going to say nothing. So I assume it's you. Absolutely, just pets him. Um, I'm gonna walk like next to you nonchalantly, and be like, "I gotta talk to you." Uh, real quick, um, Taryn, who were you asking about, Alton? Who were you talking to? Who's talking to frogs? Me. I was talking Bro to frogs. Make a wisdom save throw. Because when I was, was going. I assumed when he walked by me over by Eric's, I was already, I couldn't see him, so. Uh, wisdom, save? That's uh, plus three, so 10. Excellent. Is that bad? <laughs> Nothing happens. Okay. Did Lord Mendal know me by that name? Does Becky sense anything happening to me, or well, can wise? Conrad knew to find you by that name, didn't he? He was. I guess so, because I feel like that's probably something she could do. What is that? Does Becky sense anything happening to me? No. No? Okay. All right, I'm going to lead the group towards the dining hall, the group of people. All right. Well, I think me and Absalom is going to go talk somewhere else. Yeah, so is it, but sure. you, with the exception of, and Treya stays with you because yeah. she doesn't really know anybody else. And also you're supposed to be kind of guarding her. Yeah, I actually so, like walking, I have her like walk me around because like I'm, I'm a little older in this mm -hmm. form, and I, I whispered to her like, "Let's fly along, try to yep. get something done." And so she has, yeah, so she just hangs tight with you. So Vrogs, Treya, and Absalom, you guys all kind of like hang tight, but then the rest of you make your way back to the dining hall. What do you want to say? Um, Absalom, the other night when you were dreaming, um, you seemed to be very disturbed. So I, I dug into your thoughts a little bit. I'm just trying to be honest with you. Uh, it's your secret to keep. I will keep it. I'm not going to say anything. But I was just, here's, here's Hannah. You seem to be very disturbed. You were running about a castle. Some man was yelling at you. I just, I was trying to help you in your dream, but I couldn't do anything. Since I actually don't have a mask on, uh, as soon as you said, Hannah, uh, this, uh, my, my skin tone's a little darker, but I become pale. I yeah. imagine, yeah. Yeah, I just like, uh, I'll talk about this later, boy. And then you just kind of keep going. And, okay, you know, that's fine. <clears throat> okay. And so, as you make your way to the dining hall with Lord Mendal, <laughs> we will call it a night. Thanks for tuning in to Wizard Tank Games. I'm your host and DM, Adam. We'll catch you next time. And I'm Justin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> See, I would have remembered the situation. Right. I just wouldn't remember, remember the name. Right. So, uh, <laughs> so go ahead and go ahead and shut us down, Danny. Yep. See you guys later. Uh, it's another one. <laughs> Yo, Lance, real quick. Yeah, I think Taryn and Carmack should be bunk mates. Are we even alive anymore? Are we alive? Yeah, How do you feel about that? It says we're so I think I'd be okay with that. Yeah. So if all right, all right, Ty. Continues to like bunk with me. Um, I'm gonna try to like help him with his nightmares, if possible, in some sort of way to try to help him with that madness. I guess. Okay. So it's not dreading him. Also, oh, one thing about my character that we haven't done since like the third session or so mm -hmm. is that I still have that condition.
unless it was cured. I know I was oh, given stuff that yeah, helped. Yeah, you, you've got like some medication. We'll say about this time you should be oh, running yeah. out. Though. Yeah, I well, forgot oh, we never fixed you. I, I know. <laughs> I was I was gonna say yeah. I've been like cloud nine with this mean? whole. I can't. You cannot. I'm, okay. It's a. Uh, it, I need. Mean, I forgot your like legs are all. Like, I don't know, boys. Later. Oh, no, I've been cured. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that dissipated? Later. I've been the the transformation that the ogre thing did to me. Oh, the heat yeah. high Yeah, that was over a long time ago, right? I gotta go yeah, yeah. You're still alive. Dang. Is that what you're talking? No, no, no. Oh, so I don't know if you guys have noticed, but but like in the first couple of sessions, there were a couple times where I had like crazy pain. Oh yeah, yeah, my you're, side. You're yeah. Side pain. yeah, yeah. But I've been doing. You mentioned like, it to us. I've been doing really well. I've been. Oh, I did. That's right. Like, 